Hello out there, hope y'all are doing well and having a wonderful night. I am here, ready to play my Animal Crossing for the night. Looks like we're almost at a, f a new moon. The moon's just a sliver in the sky. Um, I had some, um, whatchamacallits, meteors earlier, but I haven't had any in like 15 minutes, so I'm not sure, I'm not sure if they're like actually coming down or, or what? Hey, Aldo. How you doing? Um, anyway, we are going to be doing Animal Crossing. We're going to be working on the interior of the community center tonight. I have two rooms designed that I need to time hop and order items for, so we'll be doing that. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I don't have many plans on the agenda, per usual, for Animal Crossing. Um, but Aldo, I hope you had a wonderful Sunday. Hope it was good to you. Hello. We are here to chill. So the first things first, I guess we'll check our mail. Just some stuff from the neighbors. Saw you in my dreams last night, it was crazy. So tell me, were you there on purpose? I thought maybe you have something important to tell me, like why you were a huge dancing beetle? Sounds wild. Hopkins writes, I had a dream that me and you climbed a mountain in the dark at the top of at the top was a couch. We sat and ate snacks and watched the sun come up. It was real chill and fun. Now that's a dream. Heck yeah, Hopkins. Let's save that one. I like that. How are you? I'm doing good. Been busy? Hey, no worries. Yeah. Life. You know, you gotta do life stuff. I appreciate you stopping by now. And I hope you're doing well as well. How's your uh, last, what has it been, like a week or two? How's, how's the last week treated you? I have been hunting lots of mushrooms. I guess we'll put this back in storage. I thought Alex might need this stuff. I guess I'll ask him when I see him come back in. I've actually been doing really well with these mushrooms. Better than I usually am with this stuff. Anyway, we're gonna find a nice outfit, of course. I got rid of a lot of clothing. I had to really, I was like desperate on the edge of my inventory again. So here, we'll wear these, these are cute. With like a plain top, maybe? Do I really have a plain top? I don't really have a plain top. I guess I have that. So I need to get rid of some stuff as well. It's it's a constant battle. I never seem to get rid of enough. In another like three days, I'll be back up to full somehow. I wish that had a black shirt underneath. That would be cute. I think we're gonna go with the Henley. Or I could do the little cute. I could do that. Actually, I like that. That's pretty sassy and cute. Let's let's keep it sassy and kind of like thrown on active wear. Maybe a bandana. Don't I have the plain bandana? Not the paisley, but like a plain one. Oh. So yeah, it's uh Oh, I have the pirate one. I swear I thought I had a normal do-rag. Oh, I do. I do have a normal do-rag. Cute. I mean, it's nighttime, but we'll probably be probably play a little bit of daytime. We'll go ahead and put some glasses on, but we'll wear like the ones you can see through. And just some sneaks. I don't have a lot of good sneakers. I did just get rid of some. 
I mean, those kind of work. I wish they were black and blue. <clears throat> those just look so big on his little feet. I don't know why that bugs me, but it does. I think we'll go with... Wear red shade glasses at night because your sight sucks. Glasses at night. That's a cute outfit. We'll, we'll go with that. I mean, I'm not loving it. I don't love the shoes. But it's okay. Maybe I should do some kind of other white accessory, but kind of want to keep it simplified. Um, okay. So I don't have any mail to go through. I guess we'll do a quick mushroom hunt so I can pick up my mushrooms. Helps with the strong lights. It's just like lights very sensitive to you. Ooh, I slept hard today. I took such a long nap after dinner. It's, I'm going to be up so late tonight. My sleep schedule is so off right now. It's like completely untethered and unstructured. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear it. At least you got some glasses to combat it though, I, I guess, you know? Light sensitivity is no joke. Oh, a whiff. You barely. Oh, that's right. You're having elections down there. I forgot Brazil was having elections. Well, fingers crossed, right? Voted early at 7 a.m. That's good, though. Voting early getting it done. We voted early as well. Seemed like the best way to do it. Unfortunately, my state uh, ended up going the wrong way, but what can you do? Yeah, it's like a midterm for y'all, isn't it? Not quite like a... Well, I guess midterm's like more of a, a term we use here, but a non-presidential election year. Lucky's out. I feel like Lucky is always in his house. Well, I'm hoping that uh, tides turn down there in Brazil, because I know Bolsonaro is a, a shift in the wrong direction. Hopefully with uh, Trump losing... You know, there's a shift across the whole world. We can hope. The way he shifted things in that direction, we can hope they shift back in the other direction. Hey, Kinky. Your island, I know, my island's so much better at night. It really is. It's meant to be seen at night. Honestly, the prettiest time for it's like 5 a.m. I want like 5 a.m. with rain is what I want. One day I'll get that as my dream. And then I'll just oh, redo my dream with that. How you doing, Kinky? Bolsonaro is a disgrace, yes. Yep. Wait a minute, why would you go there? There we go. What comes around goes around, that's right. As much as they want to cling to it, it ain't gonna last forever, thank you. The Lord, I mean, honestly. Oh, what is that emote? That's cute. Killer of dreams. Ooh. Called people that don't go outside because of COVID a bunch of sissies. <laughs> Oh my god, alpha male shit is so exhausting. Their mind is a fucking prison. <laughs> I feel sorry for them, but I also, like, 
am so tired of it. Oh, they sure are. And they sure are trying to shove lawsuits through the court. Mask ain't mask, bro. Oh, Biden won, yeah. I mean, by five million votes. And yet, they can't let it go. Like the adult piss baby that he is. How you doing, Rip? Relaxing Animal Crossing. I feel like I've been kind of neglecting this game recently. It's And I still have so much left to do. I mean, I'm always going to have stuff to do for, like, basically an eternity. I think once I finish this house, though, my <clears throat> excuse me, my husband's house won't take that long to do because it's the typical, like, bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, living room space. Um... And then I'm going to give him like a little greenhouse. I want to do a greenhouse in his house. I wish we could put flowers inside. Oh, somebody wants to talk to me. Uh-oh. Girl, I'm up here on a cliff. Hold on. Swanky. Hey, Alex. Yeah, I was going to stream last night, but I just... I don't know. I sat down and was like, uh... And I feel like if, if I'm really not into it, the best thing to do is just not stream, you know? So if I'm not feeling it, it's just not going to be... Oh, oh, she wants a new catchphrase. Hmm. Oh my god, I don't know what to put. Swanky, yeah, somebody wanted to call me Swanky and now already, like... Four or five days later, I have like four of them calling me Swanky. Only four works away from completing the museum. Nice, you've been farming red like crazy. Hmm, I don't know what she should say. Negosa. What does that mean? I can do that. I don't know what it means. We'll see if it fits. It should fit. What does that mean? Guess I can look it up. Oh, is this? Okay, we'll do it. Ooh, it barely fits. You know, I never, I know a lot of people haven't played Mother 3, at least in America, because I, uh, you know, it never got translated for America. New trailer. I can't believe they haven't released anything on Thanksgiving. Maybe they're just not going to, and they're just going to drop Franklin in here. You know, I played a little bit of Earthbound, but I, or not, is it Earthbound? It was Earthbound, not Mother 1, but Earthbound, and I never finished it. Alright, we got four... Four fossils, some mushrooms. Did I check this tree up here? Okay, there's nothing up there. Alright, I think I got them all. I'm not gonna worry about the fossils. We'll identify them and then drop them. Play it with Tomatoes English Translation Patch. I... Yeah, I've never gotten into the fan translations either. But... I have bad luck with emulators. <laughs> it's gotta be my Mac. Also, by the way, Mac just released some sort of updated operating system. But I'm sure that Dolphin's still not going to work correctly on it. Ness and Lucas, man. I respect people who play Ness and Lucas in Smash so much. They are so difficult to play. 
his like additional jump gives me such anxiety when I try to do it. I can never do the perfect loop. No matter how many times I've played them, I just can't do it right. You play Ness? He's so hard. I've used Lucas a lot, but I'm basically toast with Lucas if I get knocked too far off and can't recover with just the like, same jump, you know? If I try to do his second jump, the up and B loop, it's over. I might get it like one out of 10 times. I like Lucas because his moves seem like they're extremely slow, but they are like super powerful. You mean villager? Villager I enjoyed a lot. I was so pumped when they introduced villager, I'm not gonna lie. It was such a, like, cute uh, intro video. Oh shit, no, I gotta, uh, oops. I gotta identify it. That would help. Villager's recovery is so susceptible to certain characters, though. Like, if those balloons get hit, it's not good. And sometimes some people can just, like, completely deflect Lloyd. I like Villager for the tree. My main is Peach. I'm a turnip queen. Oh my god, it's already so hot. I swear this light makes it like so freaking hot. I can't stand it. You like riding the gyroid? Turnip queen. Oh my god. I just yank so many turnips up, it's unbelievable. People hate me. But it also is like... Not... I mean, I don't know. I feel very susceptible when I do it. You're planning on switching main? Yeah, villager... Villager's just like tricky. Villager can trip people up. But if someone's familiar with villager, there's not much you can do. Samus and Ness. Samus is like, I don't know. Samus has always been kind of like middling in Smash. Like I've tried to get behind Samus, but maybe I'm just, I can't. Like obviously the charge up, oh, there's some Astro Meteors, shit. Um, but I don't know, something, oh my God. Something about Samus is just really hard for me to pull off. A lot of her attacks are very short range too. Olimar is surprisingly, yeah, I've used Olimar quite a bit. Olimar is very hard to like get into though. It's a lot of, um, what is the word? Olimar is just kind of, it's a lot of like management, I guess would be the word. I've used, so I use Peach, um, Wii Fit, Zelda, um, Olimar, and I think, I mean there's probably a few more, I'd have to see the roster. I don't really use Fire Emblems, ever. Need a character that has good recovery. I feel like in um, Ultimate, a lot of characters have good recovery. There's only a handful that don't. Yeah, let me pull up the roster. To, I can Then I can name all my mains. I stopped playing around the time Hero was introduced though, so I haven't really played any of the new characters. In fact, I've maybe played Hero a handful of times. I should play it more, but... Um... Yeah, so Peach... Oh my god, show me the roster. Where is the picture? There it is. 
Peach, Wii Fit, Zelda, Olimar, uh, Duck Hunt. I like to use Duck Hunt Dogs sometimes. And sometimes Bowser Jr. And sometimes Mega Man Villager. So I like, I guess I'm kind of a projectile spammer. <laughs> a little bit. Oh yeah, I forgot about Steve. I, I haven't even played it since Steve was introduced. Olimar, Snake, Rob, and Villagers are the only ones with good recovery you can use. Should have made it Notch himself. All right, let's give out some presents and then I'm gonna order some stuff. Who did I see down here? I just saw somebody. Snake is so interesting. I've played some snakes that are like, blow my mind. Oh, okay, well, there's two of them down here. Oh, he's sitting down. And he's fishing. Come on, guys. I need to give you stuff. Stop what you're doing. Oh, okay. Don't, don't cast. What? Oh my god, he already cast? That was like instantaneous. I'm just gonna pace nervously. Put the rods up, buddies. I guess I'll just come back. Maybe when I give some fossils out, they'll still be there. All right, I saw Rold was out in his front yard earlier. He still is. Why are you wearing Oakleys at night? What's up with you, buddy? You tripping out? I gotta open it now. Oh, Rold gave me his photo. Sepia puzzle flooring. I forgot about that. I mean, I could keep giving him the Rold. I could get a few more photos. Nothing wrong with that. I'm getting there on the photos, finally. After all these fossils I've been giving out. Uh, okay. I wonder what the sepia puzzle floor looks like. Could be interesting, actually. <gasps> oh. Girl, Halloween already passed. An invisible entity, she said. Maybe that's a meta comment. An explorer's hat. Well, thank you. Take it. Give me something good. Agent S does not even have a nose, poor little baby. Some book stands. Hopefully I said that right. I don't even know if I did. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I did. By the way, I have rejoined a gym. I did that uh, yesterday. Or was it the, the day before? It might have been on Friday night. Um, I just did Planet Fitness. So it's a really big space. I feel like it's safer than some small gym. And I'm just going to go there to basically do some cardio. I probably won't even like use the locker rooms there. 
because I don't want to be like near people. I'll probably just do the cardio and leave and then shower at home. But I did rejoin. Since I have all this free time, I'm probably just going to start doing like, like wake up, go to the gym and jog for an hour and then come home. get in get out yeah try to avoid like the locker room and the tighter spaces basically just hop on the treadmill do my thing and then just leave I'm gonna have to get some kind of like oh there's Hopkins I'm gonna have to get some kind of like cover for my car seat because I'm gonna be getting in my car all sweaty just not great but I don't have leather interior or anything so I'm gonna have to work something out And I'm sure, like, I don't know, they'll probably end up shutting it down if things... I'd like to see... Oh, God, and now he's on a bench. Maybe a towel. Yeah, I was thinking, like, a towel. Or, like, a plastic bag of some sort, you know? Like a garbage bag, but maybe, like, a 50-gallon bag or one of those big, massive ones. I don't know. I mean, it's not like anyone... I mean, you know, I don't care people see my seat covered in a garbage bag I'm pretty uh <laughs> you know I don't really care about that stuff hey Kirsty but yeah I just I don't know if like getting into the locker room is a good idea so I might just like shit now he's back on his fishing pole man these two are stressing me out but I'm gonna try and do like an hour of cardio a day, basically. And I'm cutting out the fast food and the sweet tea. Since I live in the South, I drink a lot of sweet tea, so I'm cutting that out. Sweet tea is done. I'm going back to strictly water and seltzer water. Oh. So we're cutting out the sugars other than like sugars from food i'm gonna try to avoid like processed sugars north carolina i'm really close to south carolina though i could drive to south carolina probably in like 15 20 minutes like charlotte's right on the border basically sweater on shirt oh okay it's that Yeah, South Carolina doesn't have any restrictions right now. Like, in North Carolina, places, gyms are only allowed to operate at like 30% capacity. So they have like some, they have some like distancing measures in place. I went to check it out the other day around noon and I was like, just wanted to see what the traffic looked like in it around noon o'clock. So I went and honestly, it was pretty slow. And it was just like a, a weekday so I felt pretty safe like if I can get in and out of there consistently between like 11 and 1 each day then I won't hit big crowds and it should be fine and of course you know if things get bad and deteriorate obviously I'll stop going but I'm just like I've got to get off the fast food I've got to do some cardio because honestly y'all my clothes, they're just not fitting anymore. The clothes I was wearing two months ago when I got laid off. It's not looking good. I think your husband's lurking. <laughs> Is he lurking? Kirsty's husband's a lurker. <laughs> Hello. But yeah, my clothes are, uh, I feel like a, uh, I can, it's just not, not good. Been weaning off sugar, get really bad cravings. My worst cravings are after midnight. Consistently, always after midnight. Like, I can, it's so funny. I can get up at like nine in the morning and not eat until three or four in the afternoon and generally feel okay. I guess because like 
when I was working, a lot of my shifts were from about like 9.30 or 10, and I'd get off around 4 to 6 p.m. Um, and I, I would not eat like the whole time. So my body is kind of adjusted to that. But the later half of the day, man, I am like ravenous. I will keep eating and keep eating. <laughs> I can't help myself. It's like that those night cravings. So I'm thinking, and what I was doing for a while, um, since I've been staying up so late these days, is uh, like my husband would go to bed and I'd like run out and get a quick bite. So I'm just not gonna eat anything after like 9 p.m. I'm gonna stop eating after 9 p.m. Even if I'm up to like 3 in the morning. You eat once during the day and then again after I smoke. See, surprisingly, I know this is like shocking. Like, of course I would get the munchies when I smoked. But when I'm not smoking, for some reason I'm like way more susceptible to like snacking. Which is weird. Like, I would get the munchies, but I would curb the impulse a lot, just by virtue of smoking instead. But now, without the smoking, I just like, there's nothing to like, stop me. All I can think about is the food. So, but I just gotta, I gotta mentally tell myself like, the hunger is not real, fake hunger not real. You're not actually hungry, you're just bored. Because I'm not hungry, you know? Some people resort, resort to sunflower seeds when they quit. I, uh, sunflower seeds? I have not had sunflower seeds in forever. Usually, yeah. See, I don't, I don't lose weight after I quit smoking. Nope. Oh my god, I'm so hot. I'm dying. Whew. The robe is too much with this light. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> okay. I, um, I did all my chores. I'm not gonna hit the rocks. I don't feel like hitting the rocks. Let's see, so I have fully expanded the ICC and customized it. Looks good. Um, and I have fully outfitted the clinic. So the clinic is done. Ooh, fancy. Looking real good. I'm not super sold on the rattan chairs, but I think it's about as good as it gets. The clinic looks great, though. I found the blue wallpaper. It was for sale in my shop, surprisingly. It just popped in there one day. Uh, but it looks great. I'm happy with it. It looks very official. It's got everything you need. I think it looks really cute. We're considering this as a little bathroom, by the way. The painting. Oh, yes. Yeah, we're considering it like a shower. There's no toilet in here, so we're considering this like our multi-purpose bathroom. You don't know what's in there. It's like a mystery. Quite the clothing collection. Yep, we got a little bit of everything. We got the in in-house bed for patients to stay and the little doctor's area, and of course, all the goodies and the amenities a guest needs. That's the bowl you have in the back room you made into your son's room. Oh. What's your favorite thing about the room? Um, I like the, the little bed, shower, and sink. Just kind of the whole vibe of it. I don't know, I just, I like the blue everything. I just love it. 
<laughs> the desk area is pretty cute. I did get rid of the uh, skull. I got rid of the skull, didn't I? Did I get rid of the skull? Or did I keep the skull? Uh, my favorite color changes a lot. I would say, like, I have more like favorite color schemes. My favorite color scheme right now is like a sunset colors. So I like um, red, orange, blue, purple, and like a magenta or pink. It's kind of like a combo of colors. It's kind of what I've been, what I'm into right now. But it's been that's been my favorite color scheme for probably like a year now or so. Um. Oh. Oh. Uh. So I have the other rooms. I actually went ahead and made up. Y'all saw me do the gift shop. So this is the gift shop. We gotta order stuff for that. I shouldn't need too many iron pieces, so that's good. So that's the gift shop. That's everything we need. And then I also went ahead and did the little Wi-Fi bar and cafe. Ooh, it's so fancy. Yes, the community pool and what was I going to do in the top? Like a hotel room. The little hotel thing. And I'll probably put like a little front desk in the the lobby. But yeah, we'll have a pool. So yeah, I got to order stuff for these two rooms. I guess we'll start with the gift shop. So I'm going to need, we'll go ahead and do that, four of the lecture desks in white, and then we'll do the blue shelf. Oh yeah, lifeguard chairs. I need blue ones though. I think mine's a red. I have a blue one out on my beach that someone gave me. But I kind of want to keep that one on the beach. I could do the poolside chairs too. Or like the um, the strappy poolside chair, like the cheaper one. All right, we'll do four, whatchamacallits, four lecture hall desks. Oh. Palm tree lamps. Do I have palm tree lamps? I wonder if I do. I think I probably do. I still need a lot of black street lights. Still need like 20 black street lights. I'll get them one day. I'll probably resort. I know I've said this probably a million times, but I'll just resort to Nookazan when I'm like desperate. All right, so we need four of these. And then an Imperial wall shelf. Decorative shelf. Okay. And that's basically all I can do with JJ right now. I'm wondering if I should switch it to like daytime so I can shop and, and look in the shops and stuff. But I'll be farming a lot of uh, mushrooms. Hopkins? I want to do a thing, but what? Oh. Fingerprinty or broken. Want to buy something, maybe? I got four things for you to check out. I, uh, I did get, like, another. I have, like, maybe four mushroom DIYs at this point. What do you got? What's on the back of his head? He is an inflatable bunny. So that's like the little, you know how you you blow up like um, rafts to put in the pool? That's what that is. Whoa, let me see. How's about a jumper work suit for um, 735 bells? Sure, I can do that. He's a cute little inflatable guy. He's full of hot air. Oh, that's it? Oh, he's just gonna sell me that? I guess I have to refuse that one to see what else he has. Oh, it's just a green one. We don't want that. Yep, not a real babe. Uh, Dell is also 
not real. He's a robot alligator or whatever. Sprocket. Ribot. I'm sure there's others. There's a, I think there's a horse that's like Stitches. Forget what his name is. You had Ribot. Ribot's cute. He's a cute frog. Alright, we're done with this day. We're gonna just hop a bunch, I guess, to order for the gift shop. Yeah, Ribot does look cool. I like Ribot. Save complete. I haven't been time hopping in a minute. I've actually been on the correct Animal Crossing time for like a week. It's kind of amazing. We're done with this day, <laughs> right? If only we could make that call in real life. Like, okay, I'm done with this day. Next day, please. We'll go to the AMs. You let him leave since he asked like 10 times. You know, my animals have been asking to leave constantly. I just say no every time. <laughs> and no, you can't go anywhere. Anyway, yeah, I'm on day two of no caffeine, by the way. You know how when you you stop drinking caffeine, you get that like real dull headache? Well, it's like not, it's a slight headache. It's not like really bad. I also don't drink a ton of caffeine, you know? I maybe have like two glasses of sweet tea a day, but it's like a real dull headache in like the back part of the head. So I'm kind of like, uh, but it's not that bad, honestly. It could be a lot worse. If I was drinking lots of coffee or tons of uh, soda, then it would be bad. Yeah, I tend to do that, Rip. Like, I just get so tired of the, the diet rut that I fall in that I'm just like, I just cut it all immediately. I mean, I've been legit eating fast food like five times a week since... It's been like a year now, actually. Like a, a little bit before lockdown, I think in like October or November of last year is when it started. Because we were just, we just get so lazy with cooking. I hate doing dishes. So I'm always the one that's like, well, we could just, and I just have to suck it up. My husband does like to cook. So I just have to like be better and do the dishes and not be a lazy ass. Oh, that's a good idea. No caffeine encouragement. I should do that. And we even have a dishwasher. I'm just so lazy. <laughs> Some things can't go in the dishwasher, though, like the pans and stuff. Ugh. Anyway, we went to the grocery store today and bought a whole bunch of stuff. So we won't be eating fast food for at least like seven days. Yeah, we bought lots of fruit. I like to eat snap peas, so we bought some snap peas. Um, tons of fruit. We got some cotton candy grapes because those are in season. They're so good. Um, he got like, he wanted to get all kinds of fruit. He got like some persimmons and um, pomegranates. I got some bananas. I should have gotten some cereal, but I can't. Cereal's been giving me a hard time with the braces because it's like too crunchy. I have to let it get mushy and honestly, mushy cereal just kind of sucks. You have peaches and grapes. Don't forget your prunes. Ugh, prunes. Kiwis are good. I love, see I like kiwis in like a fruit salad. Fruit salad is the best. I could eat fruit salad literally every day if it didn't cost like $30 to make a big bowl of it. <laughs> Because I could eat the whole bowl literally within like one day. I'd be sick, but I would eat the whole thing. I like fruit salad. My mom made a, my mom makes a fruit salad with like watermelon, kiwi, or yeah, watermelon, kiwi, grapes, strawberries, blueberries, honeydew or cantaloupe, depending. Um, 
I think that's it. Oh, pineapple and pineapple. It's such a good fruit salad. But it's so expensive. Unbelievable. I try to avoid like apples because they get brown, you know? You don't like blueberries? Instead of blueberries, you could do like raspberries. Blueberries are kind of plain. I like blueberries basically paired with other flavors. Um, so like with pan in pancakes, with syrup, um, with raspberries and blackberries. Blueberries are really good. Um, they're good in cereal, I feel like. Mangoes? Yeah, he got some mangoes too. I forgot he did get mangoes as well. Guavas? Uh, I don't know if they had guavas. I have, I like guavas though. You always pick them out. They're just kind of a weird texture for a lot of people, I think, too. Watermelon's so good. Watermelon's maybe my favorite. Well, actually, grapes are my favorite. I love grapes. They're just so easy and it's like so, it's like actual candy from nature, I feel like, you know? It's the closest thing nature has to candy. Just pop some grapes and you're good. It fulfills my sweet craving pretty well. Come on, squeeze by the tree. It's like I can't squeeze by when I have the ladder in my hand. Uh, grapefruit's another one I have to pair with other flavors. I don't necessarily enjoy grapefruit by itself, but you can put grapefruit with like sugar on it and eat it with like some breakfast foods and it's really good. Grapefruit juice I actually do love though, but for some reason like grapefruit itself, I'm not a huge fan of, which is weird. But I do enjoy grapefruit juice a lot. Simply grapefruit, so good. Coconuts are great. Coconuts are so good. What are you doing, Julian? I don't think this paisley bandana fits my style anymore. You don't like oranges either? Ugh. We got the uh we got some little like I guess they're tangelos. They're like the sweeties, whatever they're called, the halos. Whatever kind of orange that is. I think they're like tangelos or something. They're very acidic. I can't eat a bunch of them, but cherries are all right. I'm not like a huge cherry fan, honestly. The thing with the tangelos, the sweeties, is some of them are really sweet and some of them are just really, really bland. You get a good one and you're like, I want to eat five more, but then you eat a couple more and they're like, they're not sweet like the other one was. Yeah, I love vegetables. For sure. Squash, zucchini. I guess, is onion technically a vegetable? I also could eat raw tomatoes. I love tomatoes. A lot of people are not a fan of tomatoes. I feel like a tomato for me is a necessity on like sandwiches. Corn, yeah. I can't really eat corn on the cob right now, but I could like yeah, I could eat corn. Carrots, yeah. Vegetables are good finger foods too. Like, just a little bit of like dressing. It doesn't even have to be ranch dressing. Just some kind of like dressing to dip them in. And even like baby carrots, you don't even need the dressing. I should have gotten some baby carrots, but they're a little tough. Like I haven't been able to really enjoy. I also like nuts. I can't really eat nuts though with my braces. I love trail mix, but trail mix has been off the table for over a year now. Papaya, papaya does sound good. Oh wait, that was wrong. I need the slingshot. Your mind went somewhere else? Ah. Oh. Tasty nuts. Is that where it went? A leaf stool?
<laughs> I mean, you know. Yeah. All right, I think I checked all the trees for mushrooms. I think we're good. I can't, this town's gonna look really pretty in the snow. I feel like maybe for the snow season, I might change the path back to gray. But I don't know, the black might stand out and look really good. You like baloney? I do not like baloney. Baloney spam, I do not eat hot dogs. Ugh, I can't do hot dogs. Yo! Double think, thank you. Three months in advance, oh my god. Thank you, double think. Enjoy this Animal Crossing content. Maybe in three months my town will be done. Eh? No hot dogs, nah. I don't like hot dogs, man. I never really have. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did, didn't I? Back on, in the way back. How was it? I think it was through Last FM. Was it through Last FM? Back in the day. Yep, it was through Last FM. I still use that. I have a lot of schnobbles. I'm above 200,000, I think, at this point. I don't use it as much these days because the, the app is, like, really shitty. It, like, double scrobbles constantly and it's annoying as hell. But I still use it. In fact, there's probably... I probably need to go through and delete all the doubles, but it's such a pain in the ass. That thing's been tracking my music listening history since 2006. Which is pretty wild to think about. Uh, Last FM, it's a... It was like a music social media website where you you linked like your music player to the website and it would log everything that you listen to and give you recommendations. It was really big like around the time Facebook first came out, like 2006 to 2010. And then it kind of died out once Facebook kind of exploded into the, the forefront of social media, kind of swallowed everything up. <laughs> it sucks. The double scrobbling thing is so fucking stupid. You think their app wouldn't do it, but... And I was I was so excited, like, oh my god, I can actually scrobble from my phone back when I first got a smartphone. And then it's been nothing but, like, a pain in the ass ever since. I still do it, like, maybe every couple months I just go back and delete the doubles. But I use it maybe... Jeez, I use it probably like like i was doing so many scrabbles back in the day but now i probably only have done like less than 2000 scrabbles this year so yeah it was called last fm i mean it's still there it's not it hasn't gone totally inactive but i'm sure the user base is i'm i'm assuming probably within 10 years they'll they'll shut the website down which will be sad because I have used it pretty consistently. I'll be sad to see it go. But here, I'll just link my profile. My music change has, or my music taste has changed pretty rapidly uh, since I started it. Like, I think the top artists that I have of all time, I probably have listened to, like the one I listen to the most now is Active Child. He's been my favorite artist for like nine years, but I was listening to so much music in college that nine years of Active Child is not even close to like the three years of college that I played Elliot Smith and Blonde Redhead. <laughs> it just will never, I don't think it'll ever reach that. I don't know, Scorny. You can add me if you want. I check it occasionally. I can't say I'm like as into it these days as I used to be, but I'm still like pretty into it I check it like maybe every couple like a week or two and try to delete the scrabbles 
every month or so. But yeah, it was a really, it used to be a really cool resource to like check your friends' feeds and see what they were listening to for music recommendations back in the day. In like the pre-streaming days, you know? Oh. Once streaming came along, you know, the algorithms kind of took over. And I'm sure it has algorithm algorithms of its own. And I feel like its recommendations are a little more spot on than something like Spotify or Apple Music. Because they're just going to give you like paid recommendations essentially. Um, but you can actually find some decent, especially if you're looking for, for music that's maybe not as mainstream, I feel like it's a good resource. Pandora, Pandora was used way back in college. I remember using Pandora instead of, that was like the first one, the first stream. It was like streaming radio. I think my mom still uses Pandora. Remember? Oh yeah, I remember LimeWire. I use SoulSeek more. Hey! LS Mool. L-S-M-U-L. Thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate that very much. Remember their concert set list being good? Yeah, Last FM was it was a cool website. I mean, it's still decent, but it I don't think it's aged very well. It's just kind of uh, an additional. It's a little redundant these days, I guess is the best way to put it. Yeah, I used Soulseek. Soulseek was cool because um, people could share certain libraries on their computer and you could just download directly from a user's library like you could click a user and see every piece of music that they were sharing it was really cool and it you know didn't even have to be music it could be like other stuff garden rock i think that's like the second garden rock i've gotten i think one of these is a garden rock We don't need two garden rocks. Yep, in the days of Dropbox and just sharing websites in general, LimeWire, SoulSeeker are no longer needed. The good old days of YouSendIt.com. What a great transitional time of uh, file sharing <laughs> from peer-to-peer -peer days. Yeah, it went from peer-to-peer. -peer. Now it's kind of like back to peer-to-peer, -to -peer, but it's just a little different. Like that's essentially what Dropbox is. It's kind of like SoulSeek. Started with kids AOL. Uh, my mom had AOL when we were kids. Did I buy CDs? You know, I sort of, I bought some CDs, but I was never like, I never bought a ton. Oh my God, look at that. Wait a minute. Oh shit, the trees are in the way. No wonder I never put trees here. Damn it. Oh, I missed his little pose. I bought probably through my teenage years, maybe like 50 CDs total. Not a lot. Ah, oh, this tree is killing me. Oops, sorry, Blue Bear. I just want to get a picture of Rolled. I don't want to be in the picture, though. Ah, it's not working. This tree needs to go. I won't cut it down because I want to keep it for Christmas, but I think I messed Blue Bear's vibe up here. Yeah, the CDs I bought were all like teenage year CDs. 
So mostly it was like new metal, 2000 to 2010 new metal, you know, corn, cold chamber. Um, and the Slipknot. Um, what's another one? Deftones, stuff like that. Used to buy CDs a lot. I had, um, I got a CD burner pretty early on in my teenage years. So I bought like the CDs I really loved, but I burned about a hundred times more. I had a huge, you know, those, those big CD books that you could get where you just slip them in the sleeves. I had one of those that was like, it was like ridiculously thick. It was like eight inches tall and like four on each page or like eight, I guess, per page, but they were all burned CDs. I am in my thirties, yes. I'm in my mid thirties. Trying to think, I'm 34. <laughs> 1986. You had dial up, oh yes. I had dial up for sure. Oh, okay, there it is. Oh God, I keep pushing Blue Bear. I'm sorry, Blue Bear. Yep, I'm a millennial. I think, um, I guess I'm like right on the cusp. I don't know like what the, um, I wonder if this is gonna fall where I am and actually not disappear into the flowers. I don't know if 80, where 86 makes me fall on the millennial scale. I don't think 86, I think I'm, st yeah, I'm still a millennial, right? I'm pretty sure 86 is still millennial. Flip flops. You and your brother would always fight about that because you wanted to be on the phone and my brother wanted to be online. Uh, yeah, my mom used to get so mad at us. She'd be like, I need to use the phone. Like, but I'm downloading something. I would just leave stuff to download overnight and then I'd wake up and hope that by the time I got home from school, it would still be, it would be downloaded. Remember, sometimes AOL used to charge people by like the amount of time you were on. Unless you had like a different package. It was like an hourly charge. It's fucking crazy. I think my mom started with that package and qu quickly realized she just needed to get the one where it was like unlimited time. Maybe it wasn't AOL that did the hourly thing, but I feel like there was a company that did. I guess I could be snatching up leaves. Uh, I guess I need to order, let's order a few more things for the gift shop. We got the four tables. I guess we can do the two office desks, two white office desks and the bear. 81 to 96 is millennial. So yeah, I'm kind of like earlier millennial. God, all my brothers are millennials too. That's crazy. So all 80s babies essentially into mid 90s. It's two office desks, an exit sign, security cam. Two office desks, exit sign, security cam, bear. It's a millennial chat up in here. You're 82. My oldest brother is 82. My middle brother, 84, and I'm 86. Okay, bear. Which one was that? I think it was, I mean, I'm just gonna look up bear. I don't know which one it is. Whoops. You're later than that. So you're Gen Z? Baby bear? You're late 90s. So yeah, that would be Gen Z, I think. 
Gen Z. 94. Zoomer. I mean, that's basically, that's essentially, you know, I mean, two years is not like a huge difference. Two to four years is not like a major difference from millennial, you know? That's why it's it's kind of a spectrum. It's not so much like hard delineated stuff. Brother-in-law, 97, little brother, 2000. I was just about to start high school in 2000. 93 to 2000s are Zoomers. I guess, I mean, that's like the age of growing up with actual high-speed internet. Like when I, I grew up for the first, probably, I think we got like AOL around the time I was eight or nine which would place that around like 94, 95 is when we got that. So I did, I mean, I grew up a pretty good chunk of my life without, without like internet, you know? But I was playing video games, so. Uh, exit sign security camera. Do I want to do the red exit sign? I think so. Brothers 93 acts more like a zoomer. Young enough to grow up without internet, old enough to see the radical change. Yeah. Like, even AOL, like, dial up was still very revolutionary. I, I grew up definitely, like, learning and educating myself on the internet. It was just different, you know? Still don't really have high speed. Oh my God. I can't do anything less than the highest offered internet package. I would go fucking crazy. I can't. Where's security camera? Maybe it's it must be called something else. Remember? Oh, I uh, I remember uh, aim. <laughs> Man, I was using aim instant messenger all the way through college, basically, like two thousand and nine. There it is, surveillance camera. After parents divorce, you're like, okay, I don't have to worry about it anymore. Kids, my mom's fixed. Then my dad went and knocked up two other ones. Oh my god. You're watching me and oh my god, are you see oh lord, 160p. Rip. Rip to Scorny. Jeez. So basically, I'm like a flesh-colored blob. A flesh and pink-colored blob over here. <laughs> yep. Man. Aim away messages as lyrics are a total mood. That's why, um, have, have you any- yeah, I'm sure some of y'all have watched uh, Penis on Hulu. Literally... Those are the years I was in middle school. It's like that late 90s, early 2000s. It's called PEN15. P -E Remember? Yeah. Uh, Pen15. I guess I should be correct. That show as over the top as it is, T9. Oh, I remember T9. I was terrible at it. I remember when, like, Twitter first came out and I was just blown away that I could basically blog from my phone. Because I was a live journal kid in high school. I basically treated Twitter as, like, live journal. But, you know, 
a couple like short little sentences. Switch to 160p to get the experience. Where is this present? You miss old school phones? I had a clamshell phone up until 2013 or 14. I was still using a clamshell phone. So that was T9 texting and everything. You were so good with T9 you didn't even have to look at the phone. I hated it. Do you like Euphoria? I don't know if I've seen Euphoria. What is it? What's the genre of it? Is it really, is it defined by a genre? Oh, it's an HBO. I have not. I should check it out. I've got time. Teen sex and drugs. Nice. Yeah, I'll check it out. I need shows to watch while I'm like on the treadmill. I think I'm going to start. I'm going to take my husband's iPad to the gym and like put on a show while I'm jogging. It's something. Oh. Starring Zendaya. I don't know. I don't have... My iPad died, like, last year. So I haven't had an iPad in forever. I kind of miss having an iPad. I've been using my phone, basically, as an iPad since it broke. If I start taking my husband's, though, I'm going to basically inherit it. Which is what I did with the last one. I got him the iPad for his birthday. And then after like two years of him barely using it, I was like, I'm going to inherit this. And then I just started using it every day. <laughs> it's kind of how it goes. I think this one, though, he bought for himself. Did he? I think he did. But he said I can use it. I just... I'm trying not to inherit it in the same way that I did his last one, you know? The last one just stopped charging. I don't know what was up with it. It was totally functional. And then one day it just stopped holding a charge. But it would like... If I plugged it in a hundred times, it might start charging. So I don't know if it was like... It wasn't the cord, because I tried multiple cords. I don't think it was the port, because I cleaned out the port. So it was some sort of like hardware internal issue, I think. But it just stopped, straight up stopped charging, unless I like obsessively plugged and unplugged until it finally decided to work. And I just got so fed up, I was like, I'm never, no. Where is another animal that's not doing something? We'll just go to Hopkins. Your mother-in-law watches that show. Euphoria. <gasps> he's sick. Oh, he's got a little hat on. Oh my God. Okay, well we have to help him. These animals are always finding something for me to do. He's got the Rona. Oh. Wait, I already talked to Blue Bear, didn't I? I did. He could just sleep it off. Oh my god. He looks so cute in his little hat. We gotta help him. Oh, Lucky's here. Let's give the present to Lucky. He's wearing like a wrestler shirt. Here you go, pal. I guess I should buy more wrapping paper while I'm here. A flannel shirt? 
Wow, great. One piece of medicine, please. Oh, this is a cute umbrella, this little black one. Black lace. He did have twins, Timmy and Tommy. They've, when, when was the first game they were introduced? I think it was City Folk. I wanna say it was City Folk, but I'm not sure. Y'all ready for Thanksgiving dinner? I don't know. I, uh, my mom wants me to do something around Thanksgiving, but it's just gonna be me, my mom, and my dad. We don't know where Mrs. Nook is. She is a mystery. Yeah, I'm not doing any extended family anything. Nope. I don't think... I don't know. I told my mom, I was like, if you're gonna do something, don't do this big all-out Thanksgiving thing. Just cook like a normal meal. It doesn't have to be this big to do. It's just gonna be like three of us, so... Let's keep it very low-key. Oh my god, they keep giving me such terrible clothing. Mrs. Nook went with another man. She probably did. She probably did. I mean, Tom Nook. I'm sure he would be tiring to be around, right? Uh, my mom and my husband get along, yeah. I wouldn't say it's like a perfect harmony, but is any... Is any um, relationship between spouse and parent totally harmonious? I don't think so. Okay, she doesn't want me to give her- Oh, I already- I already gave away the other present. But yeah, they get along pretty well. <laughs> yeah, nope. It's a big no. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> there's always- there's always weird, like, I don't know. I mean, I guess I shouldn't say always, but... Medicine for me? Of course it tastes bad, but you're just gonna have to deal with it, bud. But yeah, I think it's on a Thursday, right? Yeah, it's actually, oh, I forgot the reason we can't do it on actual Thanksgiving day is because my, um, that's the day my husband and I had our very first dates. The, the day we met in person the very first time was on November 26th. So we're gonna do something special on that day. I like our wedding anniversary but I also really like celebrating the day we first saw each other in person. Coveralls with arm covers. Y'all go all out with the sides? Um, sorta. I wouldn't say all out, but you gotta have at least like three or four sides. If you're doing like a real Thanksgiving thing, you gotta go all out. You need at least, like, three sides with starches. Three vegetable sides. Alright, those coveralls are hideous. You're exaggerating. I wouldn't say uh, my mom and my husband's relationship is harmonious. Okay, we're done with this day. We ordered, we gave away fossils, we're good. Next day. I wanna get this gift shop at least. So we need to make two bookshelves. I think I gave Arts a bunch of books so I can, I can pull up Arts character and give a bunch of books to JJ. And he can craft the shelves. That'll get those out of the way. And then I just need a bunch of, um, oh, I need to craft the wood table too, which reminds me, I need to get the Joy-Cons. One moment.
I always forget to take the Joy-Cons off the Switch before I start streaming. I'm going to look up the Age of Calamity cutscenes on YouTube first day. That's a good idea. I really, like, I'm not interested in playing it, but I would like to see the story that they expanded upon. I hope next year is the year of Zelda and they give us like at least another Zelda remake, if not re-releasing the ones they already did remakes of, um, and then Breath of the Wild too. I have a strong feeling we'll get Breath of the Wild too at some point, maybe like holiday 2021, and then they'll probably hold us over early in the year with like Twilight Princess and Wind Waker again. I'd love to see Majora's Mask like fully redone like take the 3ds versions and just make them beautiful i hope i do i hope we get zelda stuff too in this game desperately want zelda stuff the new leaf port to switch just give us all the furniture give us all the villagers and the furniture <laughs> Yes. 35th anniversary of Legend of Zelda. I know. I would, I mean, honestly, I'd love a remake of any game. <sighs> hey, Haley. Oh my gosh, can't sleep. You're nervous before your first day of work tomorrow? Well, don't. Uh, I'll try to be very calming and relaxing so I can lull you into a sleep. I hope you're gonna fall asleep pretty quickly i mean i'd love for you to stay but you gotta sleep so hopefully i can just get you there oh yeah legend of zelda themed switch would be nice i keep hearing all this about like switch pro which i'd be kind of bummed if they did that because i did buy an animal crossing switch <laughs> Uh, I mean, I wouldn't be heartbroken because the Animal Crossing Switch looks so gorgeous. It's like its own little thing, but... Man. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to get rid of my first generation Switch because you can do a lot of things with it. But I might retire it from online and use it for other purposes. You know? Oh, let's go ahead and order the furniture before I forget. Get that out of the way first. Okay, so we got basically all the fixturing stuff. I'm gonna have to make that hyacinth lamp. Um, I need, there's a lot of craftables in here actually. I guess we'll get the mirror accessory stand fax machine. Mirror, accessory stand, fax machine. Black Friday has one year of Switch Online for 10 bucks. Oh, really? I know I'm not going anywhere on Black Friday. I am not going anywhere in person. No, no, and no. I've done so good staying out of public, which I'm kind of like a little anxious about the gym, but I've got to do something about my weight is spiraling <laughs> and I've got to do something about it. Not now, but they will apparently online. But yeah, I don't know. I can't afford anything this year, so it makes the choice really easy for me. Since I don't have a job right now, it's just like, nope, can't spend anything. Where's accessory stand? There it is. And then what did I say? I don't remember. Oh, fax machine. And then I can get the car model and the ship in a bottle. Oh, 
Aw, thank you, Haley. It's- no one's telling me, it's more my own internal body dysmorphia, you know? Like, I looked at where I was a year ago, and I look at myself now, and the choices I've made diet-wise, and I'm like... I'm really hard on myself with that kind of stuff, and I'm not gonna let up, so I might as well, like, actively try to do something about it. Alright, what was it? It was a car? Ship in a bottle. Bottled ship. But I do appreciate the kind words. It's definitely an internal struggle, though, you know. My husband says I don't have to do a thing, but... I can't help it. <laughs> you were watching All My Crossing last night, your streams are so chill. Yeah. All My Crossing is chill. Yeah, I, I try, I don't know. I like uh, CEO a lot. Like the way, I don't know, just like the setup of her stream, the community she has, the icon, uh, the emoticons, emoticons, emojis. They're all really cute. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't know. I'm not a fast talker myself. But a lot of people really enjoy, like, uh, there's a lot of, like, really cool high-energy Animal Crossing streams out there. Um, Tiggity. I think that's just his name, Tiggity. And Megan Crossing are pretty... I wouldn't say they're, like, super high-energy, but they're definitely, like, more high-energy than a lot of Animal Crossing streamers. And they, you know, they have, they're pretty big, and they have really popular um, content and communities and... So there's a, definitely a lot of people who enjoy it. I think just like an, a dynamic, high energy personality just helps you grow faster because it draws people in. Which is good, you know? I just can't, you know. I'm not a high energy person at all and I just couldn't. I couldn't even do it if I tried. Yeah, I haven't seen Heyo do Animal Crossing in... It's been like over a month. I like Tiggity too. I like watching Tiggity and Meg Megan Crossing. I don't typically get to watch them a lot because they're usually on kind of like... They're like early afternoon evening streamers. And there's usually like... Like, my husband gets home around that time, so... Or I'm just, like... That's kind of time I use outside of Twitch. Like, I'll watch a lot of Twitch in the morning when I first wake up, and I'm kind of, like, getting up. And then I'll take a big break and start watching it again at night. And stream at night, so... I, um... I don't watch a lot of midday Twitch. And they're usually on, like, between 3 and, like, 8 p.m. Oh, an outfit change. Mostly on giveaway streams. Yeah, giveaway and small. I like small Animal Crossing streams. They're a little more, like, cozy. I like the chill, cozy vibes, mostly. But I'll never forget Megan's uh, Big Titty Derwin. Which I did stumble upon, what, it was like a couple weeks ago. I just came in in the middle of that and was like, what is going on here? And then I could not stop laughing. Booker, okay, I'll look up Booker and change my outfit in a sec. Let me do my little chore thing. Then we'll do that stuff. You can't sleep, it's because you're nervous for the job. It's just nerves. It's natural. Not unusual at all. 
first like the day before first day at the job honestly it'd be amazing if you could fall asleep because <laughs> yeah it's nerve-wracking for sure I'm sure you'll still make a great first impression well you already made your first impression if you got hired so the hard parts over honestly you got in there they hired you that's the hardest part in like today's times Sure, everyone will open welcome you with open arms same three weeks deep and still I don't know what I'm gonna do for my next job honestly feels kind of crazy to think about I'm trying not to think about it cuz like it's just gonna create a lot of anxiety I'm basically just gonna have to apply to anything that I can Are you there you are work for uber I don't know prop 22 in California gives me an ominous feeling about uber they ruled that all uber lift employee type uh, structure of employees are open like uh, contractors so they don't have to give employee benefits there was a case that um, a driver got contracted COVID from an uber passenger and because prop 22 passed um, uber is not on the hook for like workman's comp or any kind of compensation for him catching COVID while being employed so that gives me severe pause I mean, he was already, like, they already weren't going to pay it because that's how they, they've already kind of established it like that. But now it's in as a law in California. And since the company's based in California, um, I'm sure it's going to propagate through the whole nation now. And, and California is a democratic state, so... Go to bed. Go to bed and close your eyes. Close those eyes. I'd say get some melatonin, but... Melatonin only works so well. I don't know if it really helps, like, nervous energy. But yeah, the corporations won that battle in California. Why do I keep hitting donation? Sorry, buddy. I'm wasting your time. I'm wasting my time. Alright, we're gonna go change our outfit and then look up Booker. Sharp tooth, diplo neck. Alright, this one's garbage. Oh, you weren't able to fix it before today? It's hard. Sorry I contributed to that. Because it's really bad for me. I took a nap today from like... 5.30 to 7? Which is terrible. There's no way I'm falling asleep before 3 a.m. tonight. Are you neighbors I just need to get two more fossils before I make it to my house anyone
anyone. No one's around. Blue Bear, are you home? Blue Bear's home. Don't worry, Haley. A couple days of working, and you'll want to be in bed by midnight. <laughs> Don't worry. It'll work itself out. The first couple days might be rough, but you'll be so, like in the work mind frame at work you probably won't get like super tired there you know because you have like all this new stimuli stimuli around you so you know two three days of working and waking up early and and your body will say yeah it's midnight i'm going to bed it'll sort itself out I think we have mice in our garage. Saw one in here three weeks ago. Now when I'm out here, I hear small things. Oh my God, the mice. Sounds like you got mice over there. Is there like a bunch of stuff in your garage? Ever had rodents, pests, cockroaches, snakes, etc. The duplex we were in was so old. There were squirrels living in the attic. Um, they couldn't make their way into the the apartment duplex. Um, and we did have a mouse there. We probably had multiple mice. <laughs> yes. Uh, the the duplex was very old. It was built in like the 50s or something. And uh, it was very it wasn't very well kept. just a bunch of cheese half the garage yeah see when garages are stuffed it's just like they're gonna find their way in because they know it's like hard for them to be hunted down in there it's a safety blanket have all that stuff but what can you do you need places to store your stuff you know we had a, a mouse in the duplex and one night we were sitting on the couch watching TV and then on the arm of the other couch I saw something and at first I thought it was a roach it was like maybe like two feet away from my face uh, I was like oh my god there's a roach on that couch oh shit wait it's a mouse and then I jumped up and was like Ugh! and then it ran ran into the other room it ran into the closet of the other room which at the time was my painting and streaming room um, and then we never saw him again we put a towel down so he couldn't get out of the closet, but clearly I think that's the way he found his way in. There was probably some way in that like we didn't see. Because I looked like after, after a couple weeks, I like took the towel out from underneath the closet door and like searched the closet for his little body or something and never found it. So he, there was a way in and out of there that we weren't aware of. It was a mouse. I guess he was cute. It was dark. We were watching a movie. Yeah, the moths were in our, um, the breezeway here at this apartment. Like the, uh, our neighbor has like a fake plastic tree out in front of his, his door. And, um, it's got like, you know, that sphagnum moss in the bottom of it. It's like in a foam. It's like a cement with the foam and the sphagnum moss on the, the base of it in like the basket. And I guess that that moss, a lot of moths will like lay their eggs in that mossy environment. And then they all just like hatched out of there. And there was like hundreds of moths in our breezeway for a couple weeks. So, but they, they went away pretty quickly. I'm really talkative today. Oh my God. What can I say? It's because I'm playing Animal Crossing. I can actually talk and play at the same time when I play Animal Crossing. I can't really when I do other stuff. Like Among Us, it's so impossible to read chat and play that game well. 
and other some other games like platforming games and stuff are, require a lot more attention. Moths can be really bad if they get into your apartment because they they like to go into closets and they'll like chew holes into your clothes. Which is why like people put mothballs down because the moths will get into like they eat fibers and fabrics. So that's why you'll notice sometimes if you're like your closets aren't secure or whatever, then you can you'll get a bunch of holes in like your sweaters. At least, yeah, we don't have a roach problem here, fortunately. We keep it pretty clean, honestly. Like, we're not like majorly clean people, but we don't like keep food out. We don't forget to take out the trash. Um, there's just not a lot of like roach friendly stuff a lot of like the most the place we see the most roaches in here they do get in occasionally is the bathroom because i think they're attracted to the water in the tub and the sink talking a more soothing voice i can't help it i'll try can't promise anything though i wish this shirt was in black i wish i could do this shirt in black it would look much cuter flip-flops classic flops oh yeah and then do I want to do a hat I think I might want to do a hat no bag We live in a cold city, we don't get much insects like those. Ugh. Yeah, I lived in the mountains. There was not a lot of insect problems in my apartment when I lived up there. I've thought about, I'll probably, I am gonna apply to the post office. That was one of my plans once I kind of was able to, because, you know, I was trying to go, what, what are we at now? Day 70... So I did plan on applying to the post office, but it's just been, I'm just wanted to wait until like all this madness settles down, the dust settles on all this, because it's just too much right now. But I've heard it's like, it's kind of backbreaking. But I think it would be It'd be fine for me to like walk around and deliver mail or drive driving might be a little more stressful in terms of like the company equipment and stuff got to the point you searched up how to sleep how to sleep turn off all devices go into a dark room close your eyes and find your perfect bed position you sleep on your side do you sleep in a five-star position on your belly? Do you sleep on your back? Do you roll your pillow under your head? Do you put your pillow, your arm up like this under your pillow? I sleep on my belly. I'm a belly sleeper and a side sleeper sometimes. I'm a belly sleeper. I put one arm up like this. I put my other arm kind of down and then I roll my pillow up under my head because I like to use just one pillow really thin and I just like to like fold it and roll it to give me the positioning I need for my head. Ever sleep sitting down? Mm -mm. I mean I'll get like dozy on the couch but that's about it. Who knows maybe you end up delivering to a hot customer. Well I have a hot husband at home. But I mean, maybe. Maybe. Can't rule it out. I think we'll go with the sea lion, Big T. 
because I don't really want a white tea. Cider back, rarely on stomach. I've heard stomach sleeping is not very good for you, but I can't help it. It's just what my, my body likes, I guess. All right, we're gonna go with this comfy little look here. All right, now we need to look up Booker. You sleep sitting down for, especially on trains. Yeah, I've gotten dozy. Like in college, I would sometimes take the bus on into campus. Hey, BGS, thank you for the raid. Hello. <laughs> How you doing? Welcome. What were you playing tonight? What up? Thank you. By the way, I haven't seen you around, but you have been sending me so much stuff from my wish list, and I am super duper appreciative. You have given me at least like 20 things, and uh, my list is now below like 50 items. It's amazing. So thank you. And thank you for the raid. You're exercising on DDR. Nice. Hell yeah. Yeah, I appreciate it. You helped me a ton. You gave me a ton of stuff. My list is like, is really low. Yeah, y'all should check BGS out. If you like DDR, check him out. You play other stuff too, don't you BGS? Um, let's see. Oh, I was looking up Booker. Dun, 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 dun. <gasps> Booker's the cute one. Been hooked on this game called Monster Train. Oh, it's like a card game. I've tried cards and I've just like not been into them tried a couple card games. Look at that copper. He's much cuter than the actual copper. He was a train guard. He was a train station attendant, I think, in New... No, in City Folk. Booker. I have been staying pretty on top of the mushroom hunt. Yes, I have. Um, I haven't found a bunch of DIYs, though. Uh, anyway, uh, his birthday is April 23rd. He was a guard and a police officer. He is not in this game at all. Poor guy. See, why can't they give us dogs in this uh, style as well? We need, like, some bulldogs. And different styles of dogs. Let's see. He's a bulldog who's appeared in all of the Animal Crossing series games until New Horizons, along with his working partner, Copper. His name refers to booking, someone someone meaning to arrest them. He appears nervous and unsure of himself when talking to the player, hesitating to speak using words like um, which contrasts with Copper's personality and bravery. He works with Copper 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, taking no breaks, unlike other service characters in the game. He's a cat. You've gotten them all. Two hour session balloon hunt. A couple different days and knocked it out. Wanted to get that out of the way before maple season starts tomorrow. I know, I was like, I've been time hopping today and I noticed the leaves popped up literally like the first day I time hopped. But I think I've gotten like four, I think four mushroom DIYs. Probably one of the good ones. Uh, I mean, he's he's kind of a nervous boy. I can give him, you know, give him some wiggle room there, I guess. Plus, he didn't always used to be a cop. Maybe he won't come back as a cop. Oh, uh, that is because he's given a hundred bits. That's the hundred bit badge. Booker is cancelled. Cancel that boy. He's cute though. I mean, look at his little guard outfit. That's what I love. That's the Booker I know and love. Is he copper superior? Wait, did I miss that? 
I thought they were partners. Oh, Tortimer refers to Booker as Lieutenant Booker. Oh, see, I didn't even read that. Interesting. Your island had copper? I think Booker was in the police station, wasn't he? Which you could get later. Yes, the 100 bit badge is permanent. I think the one after that, here, let me pull up my bit badges. I don't remember what all of them are. I think once you get to a certain level, it's just a bunch of different color star bits or whatever. Star fragments. Um, how do I do that? That's not it. Oh, here it is. Bit tier rewards. Yeah, 100 is uh, the pitfall seed. <clears throat> a thousand is a star bit. And then, yeah, it's basically star bits for a long time. I don't think anyone will ever get to some of those. There, I just put in a bunch of Animal Crossing art. Like icon art. They're friendly. Yeah, the police station, they used to pick up lost items and put them in there for you to like reclaim. Kind of like the recycling box in this one. You either get Booker or Copper, but not both. Yeah, I feel like maybe it was one or the other. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh. Excuse me. <clears throat> Song request bot still here. <laughs> nice. Hey, it's cool. Nah, it's fine, you know? Raids are like that. I don't ever expect raiders to stick around. It's cool to just get the numbers for a little bit and, and see you come in and hang out for a little bit. Anyway, we're gonna... I guess we're done with this day. Yeah, I already did all my stuff. Put these star bits up. I'm a robot. I'm scared to, like, continue to listen to music during my painting streams, but I really don't want to just, like, listen to video game music the whole time. Which bums me out. I guess I should just get over it and do it anyway. You're playing a very different genre of game. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, raids are kind of like that, you know. I think it's cool to just have you come in and, and chill for a little bit. Even if you gotta, like, go to bed in 5, 10, 15 minutes, it is what it is, you know. I never want people to feel pressured to, like, participate if they don't want to, you know. I like to chill, and I don't mind if other people chill, too. Yeah, I uh, I took an hour and a half nap at like 5.30 after we had food. We had my husband cooked. Then I got sleepy <laughs> after like 30 minutes and then fell asleep at like 5.30. And then woke up at like 7 and then got up and did the dishes, put all the food away and stuff. <clears throat> I'm the dish boy. Main reason you didn't see me the last two to three weeks, you had the flu. Oh, yeah. Definitely stay in bed as much as, as possible. <laughs> I haven't gotten sick in a minute, knock on wood. What did we have for dinner? My husband made egg noodles and he made us like some little like beef patties. Big gay Seth. He made beef patties and then he made like this, like a dark gravy with like onions, um, like an onion gravy essentially. And then 
you know, put the gravy in the patty with the noodles, and then we sliced up some avocado. And then a little bit later, we had like some fruit for dessert. It was good. It was really good. Yeah, essentially like a Salisbury steak, pretty much. But just over egg noodles. Instead of like rice. Which I like better, at least for now. I mean, I love rice, but rice and braces feels so terrible. It was good. And we got leftovers. So I'll be eating that. Well, I guess we'll both be eating it tomorrow. He's off Monday and Tuesday as well. So that'll probably keep us fed. That'll be dinner for the next two nights. If we just eat one patty each. Make a few more noodles. Dig it. One of my favorites growing up was stroganoff, which is pretty similar to what you described. Yeah. Yeah, with cream and mushroom instead of uh, onion gravy. Stroganoff is really good. There's a noodle place nearby that does like a really good stroganoff. Uh, honestly, it's not the best for you, but... God, what is it? Like country fried steak? My mom would get like these cube steaks and essentially deep fry them, you know? Like cover it in, in flour and then light fry it and then cook it in gravy for hours. Put that over rice. I think it's country fried steak. Uh, so good. You've just, you, oh really? You've developed a distaste for mushrooms? Oh man, I love mushrooms. I could eat mushrooms plain. Some mushrooms, not all mushrooms, like button mushrooms. We're always back on food. That's where the mind goes. Food, baby. It's so good. But yeah, I'm... So BGS, I've decided... I'm on day two of my... Essentially my new plan here. No fast food. No sweet tea. And I'm gonna start doing cardio. I haven't actually gone to the gym yet, but I did join. And I'm going to the gym on Tuesday after I get the caffeine detox out of my system. I'm on day two of the caffeine detox. So after tomorrow, three days of no caffeine, the headaches will, will dissipate. Didn't mind as a kid. You liked them in stroganoff spaghetti sauce. These days you hate them. I wish, that's one thing I miss. My husband can't really eat tomato-based sauces. Um, it gives him major heartburn to eat like cooked red sauces, tomatoes and stuff. Um, so I don't get the, like spaghetti and chili are some of the only things I can make. Like as far as cooking goes. I mean, I could do other stuff, but like off the top of my head, I could make a pretty good chili or spaghetti. Some mushrooms poisonous, some are special. Those special mushrooms. I haven't done some special mushrooms in... Lord, I don't even know. It's been a long time. It's been a real long time. Specialty. They're, um... What are they? Exotic mushrooms. Come over and play our DDR machine. <laughs> Oh my god, Hopkins wants to do another thing. Yeah, I'm, I joined the gym. I joined Planet Fitness near me. There's one like 10 minutes away. And uh, I went there the other day around noon to see how bad, the, like, how busy it would be. And it wasn't that bad. There was like probably less than 20 people in there at like noon on a weekday. So I feel like. I'll be relatively safe. If I don't go into the locker rooms and don't go into like smaller shared spaces, I'm hoping I'll be okay. And I am obviously going to clean and wear my mask as much as possible, but... Oh, you can do it. Sorry, buddy. I can't do some fish catching thing for you today. Moral mushrooms are special and wholesome. Are they now? 
I don't think I'm ever gonna get these flowers back. They just refuse to grow in. I'm gonna have to like dig them out of there and grow them somewhere else. All right, I guess I should order a few more items. I guess I can craft. Maybe I should craft some stuff. We'll order a few more and then we'll craft. Okay. I need... We got the bottled ship. I need gnome and dolly. And then a bunch of those clothing items. Is that it? Oh, and I need, there's a bunch of stuff on this wall. All right, we'll do the gnome and the dolly. All blue stuff. Garden gnome. I love the ZZ Top Garden Gnome. You had a half a burrito before your son puppy dog eyed me. So you gave him the last half. <laughs> oh my god, it worked. He gotcha. Did you finish A Link to the Past? Yeah. Um, I can actually finish all of Link to the Past in like a little over two hours now. I, uh, I can't, I mean, it's not like an amazing speed run, but I can get it done pretty quick. Morals look kind of weird, and I'm glad I don't have tryptophobia. Yeah. Is that the fear of holes? What is that? I'm actually, uh, double think right now, I'm working on, I just started Minish Cap, which is a Game Boy Advance Zelda. I think it's Game Boy Advance. And I did Link's Awakening recently as well. Link's Awakening was great. I hadn't actually played that one before. Oh, it's an aversion to certain patterns involving holes. That's what I, th I thought. It's like fear of holes. But that's a bit of a simplification. All right, air conditioner. TV. Wall mounted TV in blue. And then what was it? Like a light switch? We'll do light switch. Honeycombs, walnuts, lotus flowers. We'll set it off. I don't know. I'm sure I have a phobia of something. But I can't pinpoint. I guess, I mean, I am a little afraid of heights, but I feel like that one's kind of normal. It's more like a fight or flight response, I guess, than it is like a fear. Like, I don't get a full on panic attack, but I'm like, you're not getting me anywhere near that, the edge of that. You know, if I'm like on a mountain side or driving on a road with, you know, a mountain road with little guardrail protection or something, I'd be like, uh, really nervous, but. Hey, Cordable. You don't have a fear of heights, but did you get some stomach lurching? Yeah. I don't know. I wouldn't call it like, I, guess, I mean, I guess it's a phobia, but I don't put myself in situations where being afraid of heights will be an issue, I guess. How you doing, Cordable? I want to finish Chrono Cross this week. I need to finish Chrono Cross. Terrified of spiders, fear of bridges. Spiders. I don't know. Insects just skeeve me out, but I'm not really like afraid of them. Oh, 
Oh, blue bears. Well, there you go. Deep ocean. Deep open ocean. Um, I could see that being really scary, yeah. Like, getting sucked out to the, the sea. I play just about everything, but the one I'm super amped about right now is basketball. Les Coolsies. I'll come to your next match and cheer you on. I've been practicing cheerleading as part of my pop star training. You sure? Thanks, champ. I've been practicing breakdancing. I thought I was being ironic, doing an old thing nobody does anymore. But it's still a thing, and it's cool. So I got more serious and invented a move. It's called this. Wabam. Yes, ma'am. I gotta train hard so I can win my match while you're watching while watching your routine. Wow, aren't they just precious? Doing okay, just finished some last minute homework. I'm doing good. Uh, today was a, a, we went to the grocery store for the first time in months. We've been so bad eating fast food all the time. So we finally decided to go to the grocery store, spent way too much money. And then my husband cooked. I took a nap, woke up and did the dishes. And then we watched a movie, he went to bed and here I am. Yo! Rukat's in Prime. Hopefully I said that right. Thank you for the follow. Suspension bridges freak you out. I can see, like, the kind of... I can see that being terrifying. I can see, like, some bridges being, like, a fear... Like, a mixture of fear of heights. You know? Or just, like... It's just like a safety factor. Like, you don't know. I would say, like, bridge collapses do cross my mind, but not very much. More like, for me, it'd just be like, I'd be more scared of, like, a small overpass, you know, with, like, an 18-wheeler going over it than I would be, like, a suspension bridge, which is built for, like, like an extreme... It's like ingenuity and engineering at its peak. But, like, an overpass? I don't know. Seems kind of basic and slapdash. You love cooking? Cooking? I'm not the cooker of the relationship. My husband is the cook. Um, but I do the cleaning. I'm the dish boy. I mean, I can cook some stuff, but honestly, I just don't really try very much. <laughs> Which I should be better about. Height coupled with the water below. Yeah, it's like that. What is this? A rattan waste bin? We don't need that. I guess we'll keep the wrapping paper on us. I could see that being terrifying. You watch all the Final Destination movies so many times, you're completely numb to any hint of phobia or of normal situations gone horribly wrong. Oh, Final Destination. A classic, to be sure. I think I've only seen like the first two. All right, I really want to start giving Lucky presents every time I see him, because I really want his photo, because he needs to be replaced with um, Flo. So we need to get him up to photo sharing stat. Oh, he's already giving me a wallpaper. That's good. These two still hanging out together. Looks like they are. What an unlikely pairing. Which is best if... I mean, I've only seen the first two, but I would say the first one's just classic. Freaking Devin Sawa. Oh, she's saying bub too. Bub bub bub. There was a high rise my grandmother would drive over when I was a kid. It would be so high and then almost a steep drop with no guardrails to really speak of that always terrified you. When I did a, I worked in a like a florist shop. I had to do like a floral 
delivery and setup for like a conference room in a high rise tower in Charlotte. That was pretty wild to like be that high up above everything. I will say that was slightly terrifying. Like obviously I was protected by the structure and the glass, but it was still like, you know, it just kind of makes you uneasy. Drano Pop Rocks. <laughs> Favorite one is four. The racetrack is the disaster setting. Yep, I live in Charlotte. Hi, Toadsworthy. Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm a Charlotteian, as they say. I have, uh, I, I grew up in the suburbs, so. Okay, I already passed the area, but now I live in the city. Well, not, not like uptown, because that's like insanely expensive. <laughs> oh, shit. But I live in like the city limits, I should say. Your neighbor, my neighbor to the north. Your sister lives right across in South Carolina. I know every it's so close to everything. That's like the best part about Charlotte is how it's close to so many things. It's close to the mountains, close to the beach, close to South Carolina, just a short drive to even Virginia, or Tennessee, um, Georgia, Atlanta. Like even Atlanta is not even that far of a drive if you really want to go to Atlanta for like an event. Not that we can in 2020, but you like Asheville? I do. I love Asheville. A couple of my friends live up there. I thought about moving there after school, but um, I just, I don't know. I never went through with it. I stayed with some friends down here, like, uh, once I graduated and then just found, you know, went on dates with my husband after living down here for a year and a half after college. And then was like, well, can't really can't really move to Asheville. He doesn't have any clientele up there. He'd have to like restart his whole clientele and in his 50s that's not really a possibility. So I'm staying. But I do love Asheville. It's extremely beautiful up there. The city is nice. Um, the downtown is really charming. It's, ex it's an expensive place to live. That's for sure. But so is Charlotte, so... Yeah, property values in Asheville and Charlotte have like... And I'm sure across a lot of places in North Carolina, to be honest, have gone up absurd amounts in the past like two decades, since 2000. Like my mom... I guess I'm done with this day. My mom bought her house when I was... Like a year, no, a couple years before I was born, like early 80s, for like $60,000. That house now is probably worth a little under 300000 for like a three bedroom in the suburbs. It's like absurd. But she also, I mean, a lot of neighborhoods around here now are like, crammed in. She lives on like a wooded acre with like not that many neighbors around her and like actual woods. Oh wait, no, I didn't mean to end this. Well, we can end this day. I'll just do the crafting the next day. All right, with this, I should be very close to ordering everything. Might have to do like one more skip. I'm doing pretty good on time tonight. It's only 12.30. Feels later. I guess I started earlier. Oh, wait, I have to actually close the software. But yeah, Charlotte's nice. So you're my neighbor to the north trying to guess city like Greensboro maybe I think you told me 
at some point when you were in here, but I don't remember. Greensboro, Winston, maybe? Something like that. I consider those pretty close. Statesville? Could be Statesville, yeah. Oh my gosh, Statesville. I used to sometimes take like a scenic route to, I went to school in Boone, to App, and uh, I used to take a scenic route through Statesville so I could avoid like getting on 77 and 421. Like I found a route where I didn't, I could take, it was like an extra 30 minutes of driving, but I basically didn't ever have to get on 77. I would just go up to Statesville on like normal roads and then take some back roads from Statesville until I got to like Wilkesboro. So I wouldn't have to get on anything until like 421 in Wilkesboro. It was nice. Nothing but fields. Fields and then some trees and more fields. Okay, we need to get books off of arts. Let me order some items first. Some Groundhog's Day vibes going on up in here. The repeating of the days. All right, so we got the TV, the light switch, and the air conditioner, another camera, a phone in blue, the pennant, the surveillance, wall phone, pennant, and then a bunch of wall stuff. You can do the lantern and the fish. Okay. I haven't played New Horizons in a bit. You know, this game's very forgiving with that stuff. Honestly, it's not that bad. If you don't play for a little bit, your animals will not leave, and the weeds aren't, like, terrible. I wish they would, like, let Leaf pick all the weeds up from your town as, like, a bonus if you were feeling lazy. All right, it was phone, surveillance camera, pennant, sport pennant or something like that. New Horizons, the most cleaning and about play every day or else by a long shot. Oh, for sure. For sure. It's nice. I actually really like that. It's a lot less uh, high maintenance. Hire a gardener. Hey, Mo. How's it going? Hope you've been doing well. Missed some uh, some decent uh, Among Us on Friday night. Played some, a couple good matches up in there. I played actually with Zeb last night instead of streaming. I played Among Us with Zeb's group for a little bit. And I was imposter, like, I'm not even kidding, like seven or eight times. It was intense. All right, what was the other thing I said? The Imperial Lantern. Blue. And the little fish. I'm a good imposter. <laughs> I do try to be. Oh, I can't get the blue one. Shit. Oh, it's not even for sale. I've gotten a little better. I was imposter so many times last night. The thing is, you have to play somewhat chaotic as a crewmate so that when you act a little shifty and weird as imposter, it's not, like, different. Like, you have to play consistently either way, which is hard. You can watch his VOD cursed. I was there for like the last three hours of his stream. 
I mean, you'll be seeing it from Zeb's point of view, but yeah, the last three hours of his stream from yesterday. Yeah, he streams for so long. I can't, I don't know how he does it. All the power to him, but my ass can't barely go for three, four hours. <laughs> I can't do it. All right, so I can't do the fish plaque. That kind of fucks me up a little bit here. Oh, I already reached my max. Can't play imposter, really suck at it, it's so heartbreaking. Yeah, I guess I'm just like, I play it cool when I lie. You know, I'm like, well, if you don't believe me, then, you know, it's just too bad. I'm telling you the truth and that's all there is to it. But if you feel like you gotta vote me out, you just, you gotta do what you gotta do. I didn't, I wasn't able to save my, um, my Among Us stream from Friday though, because I was having some major frame drops. It was like choppy as hell and horrible. Which is a bummer, because I got imposter like two or three times that night too. You suss yourself. You only got imposter once, that was the first time you played. You had no idea how to fake tasks. That is the worst. You can't do anything about it. There's nothing you can do to save yourself in that situation. Absolutely nothing. All right, so I have to craft the Nova stuff, the wooden table. What else? Friday was fun, yeah. I had a blast. Oh, I can get two presents. Uh, the hydrangea lamp, or the hyacinth lamp, two Nova things, wooden table, two bookshelves, and the iron wall shelf. Yeah, opening up to randoms can be a bit of a, you never know. You never know what you're going to get. I had to stop opening it up to true randos after a racist hit and run, so. Now my Discord's a little locked down, but that uh, was for the best, you know? Lesson learned kind of thing. Yeah, with six you have to do like a single imposter and, you know, really balance it in their favor and as, like, as best you can. here none but I do love Among Us it is it does get kind of like repetitive after a while if you play it a ton that's why I think like once a week is probably the best thing I could do for it it's just like keep it a consistent one day a week thing you know honestly it's been kind of difficult to get a full 10 people the past two weeks like a full 10 people for the whole three hours so I might cut it back to like once every other week but I'm gonna go a couple more weeks and see how it goes before I do that. You can't move. You're not moving. You're not going anywhere, girl. You stay. It's your destiny. Indigo is your destiny. You can't go. No, ma'am. Mushrooms here. Only one you'd consider letting move is Audi. Because I have the whole all koalas. Oh, yeah. But Audi's so cute. It's a hard choice. I actually uh, double think I did. I started a playthrough of uh, Donkey Kong. <clears throat> excuse me, Donkey Kong Country 2. I got through World 3, so when I pick it up again, I'll start on the um, Carnival World. <laughs> you 
<laughs> she asked a couple weeks ago. You set the switch down so you could really think on it and cry. Yeah, you can't let her go. She's too sweet. Tears. Tears of sadness. Tears of joy. All koalas plus Audi. It's a theme. Make it a theme. It really does, yeah. Sometimes this game will sneak up on you in terms of like the way it'll make you laugh or feel pangs of sadness. It's all too human to bear. A lone wolf theme. There you go. Koalas are actually very scary looking. Alright, four fossils, that's not bad. I'm getting real bored of doing the same day over and over though, I'm not gonna lie. Kinda over it. But I'm on a mission. I gotta see it through. Be a damn DIY, please. Mushroom DIY. Garbage. I like to think of it as we haven't told Audi she's adopted. She just thinks she's part of the koala pack. I wonder what is a group of koalas called? You know how all animals have like a name for a group of them? I wonder what a group of koalas is called. gonna look it up come on Google what is a group of koalas called oh they're fairly solitary creatures they don't have a name like a murder of crows kind of shocked just says koala colonies. That's kind of lame. Oh my god, I'm shocked. Here I was thinking they all, all animals like that have names, but I guess they are more solitary. Neck, tail, body. All right, these are all wrappable. Want to hear a dad joke? Sure. I'm down for a dad joke. Light it up. As long as you're missing some of the current seasonal DIYs, 15% chance per balloon that you get one. Oh, I mean, 15's pretty good. It's not great, though. That's like one out of every, what, seven? Something like that. Yeah, I've seen videos of, like, koalas on YouTube. Like, there was one where one got into a guy's car, uh, and it's it fucked the interior of his car up so bad. I guess... He left the door open to like film something and then the koala got in the car because I guess it wanted the air conditioning and uh, yeah took him a while to get that sucker out of there what do you call two crows sitting together I don't know what do you call two crows sitting together tell it Oh, LaBelle's here. I'm gonna go see if Lucky's home. So I can give him a present first. Oh, excuse me. He is home, good. Uh, 
attempted murder. Oh my god. Yeah. I give that dad joke a... What would be average? Like a 5? I give it a 5. Maybe like a 4.5. Eh. Ooh. Here's my photo. Nope. We're not that friendly yet. We should be. Please. Any day now. Everything's boring together. I already ordered for this day, I'm pretty sure. We'll go craft. Here, Agentess. Have. It's not really a good one. Just thought of it when you said murder of crows. Oh, did you make that up? If you made that up, I'll give you an extra 0.5 and make it a solid 5. We'll round up. Thank you. Alright, who else was around here? Somebody was just around here. Was it Julian? Oh, you heard it one time. Okay, so 4.5 remains. Oh, there he is. He's singing over here. Sorry to interrupt. Here, have a fossil. Still do not have Sydney's photo. I'm starting to think you got it without realizing and sold it. Ugh. Animals remember the last 64 gifts they gave? Holy shit, that's... Depressing. Oh my god. That's a lot of fucking work. Yikes. I would have given I would give up. Oh, oh wow, that name though. Which NPC do you think is the most fuckable? Uh, what's the human NPC? Because I'm not into bestiality, personally. Is there a human NPC in this game? I guess, uh, zipper. Because you don't know what's under there. I'll go with zipper, because I know it's a human under there. But I don't know. Could be anyone. No humans. Oh, well, too late. <laughs> hey, Chroma. How's it going? You miss me? We miss you too. What you been up to? You fixing that sleep schedule over there? Yeah, some of these animals don't seem adult to me. I think, uh... These houses were like gifts to some of them. I do love your name though, well, honey. It's iconic. Hey, mister, mister! Finally found the real robust statue. Three more to go. Damn, you're still farming red over there. I guess now that you got your fish done, that's the next step. You're not fixing the same schedule. Me neither. I took a nap at like 5.30 p.m. today. It's totally just in shambles. You're gonna go to the psych ward. Oh shit, I didn't mean to put that in storage. 
I mean, that depression can be very hard, for sure. I mean, I guess if, if it's a necessary step in your mental health, then you should absolutely. You know? Nothing wrong with it. No shame in it at all. I have known friends and family that have had to go in, and they do come out generally better on the other side. Just never feel shame in it, you know? Life's too short to feel shameful about other people's views of you. But having that kind of structure and having mental health and care professionals to help you and others around you um, in similar situations can be helpful to some. Mostly taught them to say koala puns in other wordplay. I <laughs> koality, coalescence, the coalition, koala la, eucalyptus. Fabulous. <laughs> that is really cute. I love that. I'm not that clever. <laughs> no motivation. I haven't worked for almost a month now. Okay, get yourself to sit down and work. Yeah, I'm in the same. I've decided I'm changing my lifestyle. I'm, as of yesterday, well, this is like two days in, so maybe a little ahead of myself right now. But. As of yesterday, I am not eating fast food. I am cutting out um, sweet tea and like tons of processed sugar and I'm, I've got to start doing cardio. I joined a gym again so I could go in the middle of the day while I'm like normally sitting at home being all sad sacky, you know? Just so I can get out and do something. Um, so I'm going to try and stick to that up until basically the pandemic is over, you know, or until my unemployment runs out and I have to look again for something. We'll see how it goes. I've done it a couple times in my life before, so I know I can do it and I'm mentally in that place where I want to do the work, so I feel like that's the hardest step the hurdle hardest hurdle to like get over you know is like finding that motivation so yeah you got to do what you got to do to find that motivation and if that means you know taking yourself to a, fa a care facility and doing it then you, you do it i hope you get better soon too as well wait what is i don't even Whatever, we'll take whatever he's selling. Just know that it is possible. It does require work, and the work won't be fun, and it won't be easy, but you'll come out the other side better for it. Life is a series of choices, and sometimes it feels like the choices make themselves, you know? to call upon arts switching computers all right I'll be here actually I'm gonna take that moment while this is actually let me get both the characters on the screen I need to take a quick bathroom break before I go anymore I'll probably go like another 30 to 45 minutes maybe in a, an hour if I get into the swing of it Let's see but I'm going to take a quick bathroom break as soon as I get both of these characters called in. Oh my god, Arts is looking so cute and hip now. Oh! Oh, there we go. No, 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 that's not JJ. Whatever. That's fine. Okay. Wait, 
what the fuck is it doing? Are they like low on battery or something? What the fuck is this? Okay. Weird. All right, I'll be back in a second, y'all. Give me a few moments. I'll be back in a minute or two. Alright, I'm sorry. I'm back. Uh, sorry for the delay there. I'm back. Got some water, did some back twists, used the restroom, and feeling a little refreshed. So, we need a bunch of books from arts and I think a couple paintings as well. So, let's bring, let's 
Let's go in here. Oh my god. <laughs> Thanks, BGS. Welcome back as well. Let's see. Oh, right. I somehow switched to the Joy-Con from my little mishap. Oh my god, it's one. Alright, so we need to switch over to Arts. There we go. Alright, it was the couple paintings. What were they? We had the Starry Night, which I may not have. And then the Sunset. I guess I could go ahead and grab those two. Hokusai and Woman at Bar. Was that it? I guess that was it. Okay. All right, we do still have a Hokusai. We have a Sunset. Guys, I don't know if I still have another Starry Night. I don't. I guess I can use this one instead, the Sinking. And then, what was it? Oh, the woman. I don't think I have her either. I don't. Hmm, I guess I could do, instead of her, I could do a Venus. Does he have anything else that I could use? Without having to craft it? Oh, he's got an extra iron wall lamp. Any iron wall lamps helps. I think I need one of these as well for the Wi-Fi bar. And I think that's it. Got a lot of book, a uh, book in storage. Yeah, I think we're good. All right. Yo, soup kettle. For sure. I'll send that right over in just a sec. Nope. Oh, it's so big. God, I hope that fits in the space. It should, but I'm not sure. Hey, another one. Two soup kettles. You got it. Alright, he needs ten books. Oh, damn it. This is why I went ahead and got all these books. So I wouldn't have to order a bunch and wait, you know, hop a few more days. I should probably order more with Arts and just keep him as like our book guy. Alright, that was five. We need five more. Yeah, I'll do it in a minute. It shouldn't take me that long. I'll be out of multiplayer really quickly. Basically, it was just for this purpose, to get these materials over to JJ so I can give them to ICC. I don't, Kinky. I am maybe 40... 40-ish um, 40 items away from all furniture items. I don't know. I'm really far away from getting, like, all the clothing <clears throat> and stuff like that. But as far as furniture items, the only items I do not have are what remain on that list which is below 50. Let me see, eight, 16, 24, 32, 40. I'm at 40 items exactly remaining. All right, JJ's got plenty of room. I 
Actually, I guess I could have just left these here. I just need the books with JJ. Oh, Lucky Cat's not catalogable. Oh, is that? That's a Gulliver item, isn't it? Yeah, I can remove that. I forgot about that. All right, let's. I actually just need the books. I actually, yeah, just the books. All right, let me get those. You can customize it. It's once you can get both. You need it for the gold cat. Yeah, I got the gold cat lucky recipe a really long time ago. I've been waiting on that lucky cat for ages though. I never see Gulliver. I don't really look for him very much though, especially when I'm time hopping, which I should be doing, but I don't. So that's all we needed multiplayer for. We're done. Oh wait, no. Keeping it in this controller. In session. I guess I'm off the pro controller now because I did a whole controller switcheroo. You have the blue hanging scroll. Yeah, I could come grab that real quick and catalog. That'd be great. I know it's expensive. I know it's like that's like one of the super high priced items. Honestly, a lot of these ones that are left are kind of pricey. The instruments, the tub, the draw, the washer, laptops, TVs. Yeah, it's all mostly pretty pricey stuff. Yeah, give me a few moments here. Let me get this stuff crafted, and then I can head over there. So I need an iron wall shelf. I think I have to order a few more things. I switched days, didn't I? Or did I already order again? It's all blending together, so I'm starting to like lose focus. I guess I can try to order. Let's try to order. I feel like I did, but... Not 100% positive on that. Okay, I can get the posters. Kurt, Coco, Clay, Katrina. And then the rug on the ground, the earth rug. Oh man, am I gonna be able to get the Katrina poster though? Did I make her card? Clay. Okay, I already ordered. Never mind. Alright, do I have enough hyacinths? I have one purple hyacinth. I think I have enough to pluck to make a lamp. Or I have such a hard time. I'm still not getting any purple hyacinths. I've basically given up on that dream. I do have the Sanrio posters. I do indeed. All right, I need one of these. Yeah, if you want to put it in a catalog order, Kinky, I will happily send you any of them. Yours are organized for easy picking? Ooh, that's a tempting offer. I'm sure I'll have to take you up on that. All right, let's pull out some iron. Uh, we're going to need... What was the other thing? Clay for the wall shelf. And I think you need some clay for the light too, I'm not sure. And then some wood for the bookshelf. Yes, yeah, I'm gonna send that to you here in a sec. All right. Shelf. Oh, I'm not in the. I'm not on the t the table. 
How did you get the Sanrios? Well, there's this thing called pl placebo. That's a wonderful tool that you get on your phone and you get some chips and you do your thing. That's what I did. That is what I did. Yes. It was way cheaper than obviously going the other route, so. Two bookshelves. Iron wall shelf. Where are you at? Down here? Yes. Yeah, it was honestly like, I think you have to, if you use an iPhone, you have to buy an app. You might be able to, you probably can find a free one on Android if you have Android. But I think a lot of the iPhone ones require you to pay a couple bucks to like unlock full features or whatever. And then um, you just buy the chips. Make sure they um, are chips that are like functional with Amiibo uh, files or whatever. It's not bad. It's honestly, it was not bad at all. I think I spent a total of like, because I bought a bunch of cards in case I wanted to make some for people um, and like send them villagers or send them posters or whatever. And I think it in total cost me like 30 bucks to do it all. They just re- they're about to re-release the Amiibo cards, for the record. Oh, I need to customize these. Yeah, they're about- I think some of them might have already been released in the US. Yeah, but like the Sanrio ones are insanely expensive. Oh. Yeah, two shelves. We got the ticket. I guess I can get two things and wrap them up as presents. Yeah, the card packs are random pulls, which is annoying. That's why I never invested in them in the first place when they came out originally. Because I didn't want random pulls of items. Which is so crazy. There's no way I'm spending like $2,000 on amiibo cards. It's fucking absurd. I refuse. So, I did the cheaper route. Alright, where's this lamp so I can see how many flowers I need to pluck? Oh, I only need five. I already have one. So I can pluck them here, so that way I don't have to like come back and craft some more. And then I can customize all these. Two more to go. You're knocking them down. I love how you get things done while I'm streaming Animal Crossing as well. <laughs> Alright, that makes four. Yeah, the amiibo card packs being random pulls was like a nope. A big nope for me. Alright, and then we have... Did I put the clay up? No, I still have the clay. Let's craft. Bam. All right, let's customize. Get some custom kits. We'll just go buy some real quick. Do I need, wait, do I need more iron lamps? I feel like I need more iron lamps. I'm just not paying attention. I probably should get should put two like over the shirt section, put two there, and then maybe two on the other wall. Maybe just one over there, so three. I already have one. Yeah, so we'll just get two. I still need two iron wall lamps. Do you need the mush? I think I have the mush umbrella. Let me check. 
I think that's one of the first ones I got. Where is that stuff? There it is. I have mush log, lamp, parasol, and partition. Is I guess is parasol the same as umbrella? If they're not the same, then yes. Oh yeah, then absolutely, I would love that. Thank you. I'll be over shortly. Just let me know when your gate's open. I can, I'll probably be done with like these customizations in like five, 10 minutes. And then I can head over there and I'll um craft or uh, I'll mail you those items before I go. Okay, it's open. All right, I'll make it quick. Custom kits. I guess I'll just spend the, almost the rest of these bells on them since it should go pretty quickly. So two more iron wall lamps. Then a bunch of customization. It's amazing how much time this game takes up when you're like actually doing things. I know, but I'm so like low on iron, I don't even wanna I wanna keep all my iron to myself. <laughs> I need it all for all the lamps I need in my town. <laughs> I've had had to have used at least like 50 by now. In all my houses. Definitely my favorite, like, I like putting them over paintings, um, cause it's like a nice official looking light. I wish they had like some kind of like bulb track light type, type thing, but they don't. Oh, whoops. Oh my God. What am I doing? What is happening? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna empty out all these, like, crafting materials and stuff. Alright, two wall lamps. So interesting that these require clay. Seems like they really underutilized recipes with clay. Wait. Oh, it was the wall rack. Didn't I have? Okay, yeah. The wall lamp's still on the ground over there. Alright, let's customize everything. Hopefully I have enough kits. I don't know, I have some pretty big items here. Okay, these only take three. That's good. Oh, I need to get a... Maybe I have some of the other stuff in JJ's inventory. Like the earth rug. Yeah, they really do. A, qual a quantity slider would go such a long way. Like, yeah, I want 50 custom kits. 
I mean, I do like that they did five, but five is not enough for custom kits. All right. Let's go put that stuff back in my inventory and see if there's anything else I can take from JJ before I have to order it. I feel like there's gotta be at least like a wallpaper in that earth rug, which I know I have kept, but I might have already passed it on to someone else. I'm trying to think. Oh. Okay. I do have an earth rug. And then what was the it was like the starry sky wallpaper and white wood floor. Should have that. One of those at least. Okay, no white wood floor. Starry sky. Okay, cool. All right, that was a really helpful. Five was the most to customize things. It wouldn't be mine, but 50. Yeah, some items take like eight things to customize. It's absurd. Yeah, I don't have anything that's even remote to the white wood floor to put in its place, so. All right. Let me order you that, that stuff. So it was soup kettles. Let me pull it up. Cream stew and green curry. Hmm, I guess I'll just look up soup. I must have just missed it. Cream stew. Oh, shit, I used all my bells. Damn it. Of course I did. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Oh my god. Oh my god, Blue Bear hates me. To the Poe House. Oh, we got plenty money. Even after getting ICC's house to the full expansion, we're chilling. No worries. They say more money, more problems. I don't know about that. I just don't know about that. Don't buy expensive stuff. Some people have three kids, no money. I have no kids and three money. Yes. What do they call it? Um, gay couples, a dink, double income, no kids. Dink uncle. Oh my god, what am I doing? Look up soup again. Cream stew. There you are.
soup kettle cream stew. A lot of gay couples are dinkers, yes. Hey, Kirsty, thank you. Day 72. Green curry. Can't believe it's been 72 days. Honestly, if I can get through it without having a job and being at home all day, I can get through it any time in my fucking life. <laughs> so, it honestly feels pretty good. And don't worry about it, Kirsty. Yeah, lurking is fine. Lurking is great. You see me in other channels, you know I'm a lurker. I be lurking all the time, everywhere. All right. Let's empty out our pockets and then we'll give this stuff to ICC. So JJ can come back, empty the mailbox, empty pockets, pick all this stuff up, or ICC can pick all this stuff up and then the gift shop will basically be almost done. I just have to order like maybe two more days worth of stuff, seven or eight items. Yes, I'm a very shy chat person when it comes to like chatting on other people's channels, which is so weird that I can stream and not be that shy, but I don't know how to explain it. I really don't. I'm just more, I've always been more of like a passive viewer when it comes to like using Twitch, you know, in my own way. Oh my God, my nose itches. But. I don't know, I've also had an interest in actually streaming too. I guess they don't overlap, you know? Like I view the viewing of channels different than I do from streaming. Hey, a colored leaf floor, hell yeah. Colored leaves floor, cool. All right, so I sent you that stuff and I'm coming over with empty pockets. Oh, BGS, thank you for the smoke-free encouragement as well. All right, I can empty all that out. Done. Q is emptied. Soup's replaced. Two varieties to go. I, I'm pretty sure I have those. Um, you can probably put in another order for two. I'll just, I'm going to skip to another day, so. Feel free to put those other two in if you feel like it. Unless you want to wait for another time, it's up to you. You've helped me out so much, I can basically send you anything I have. No problem. How do you want to travel? BGS land. Let's fly. I feel like it's almost time for me to get another haircut. I need to shave. Like, I'm not going to shave the beard off completely, but I need to, like, get rid of the neck beard. A visitor is coming. Yeah, I got some major neck beard action going. Can't deal with the neck beard. I'm still kind of bummed that there's no name for a group of koalas. I was so sure they'd have some kind of cute name. Ooh. I don't remember that water pyramid last time I was here. I know, but I thought that like they at least lived in some kind of community structure. Like maybe they didn't live in large groups, but like, you know, small communities. Oh, okay. Hanging scroll. 
There you go. Thank you. Are you giving me this iron? Oh my god. You're a gem. Oh my god, this is so much iron. Oh my god. Thank you. Oh, oh my god. I swear that was not the reaction I meant to have. Slip of the finger. Thank you. A mush umbrella? A bonfire? Pear wall? I think I probably have these, but I'll take them. We'll try them anyway. We know it. We know it. Oh, okay. Alright, I'll leave them then. Unless you just want me to clean them up for you. Hey! Okay, I'll, I'll just... I can toss them on my island. I'll take them and get them out of your hair. Is there anything you want to show me while I'm here? Any a major project you want to uh, showcase? Anything at all? Oh, really? You haven't decorated recently? Alright, well... Let's go talk to Canberra, cause I you got Canberra's gonna like stare me down, daggers into me. So we need to at least say hi to Canberra for you know reasons. Hi Canberra, love me. Oh my God, there we go. Canberra loves me. You have more photos? Oh, you mean you've been getting all the koala photos? Sure, I'll follow you. Show me those photos. Ooh. But I can't see who those are. Mystery photos. Oh, you've been working those animals. Oh, they're extras. Oh, that must be Yuka, not Sydney, right? You said you didn't get Sydney's, or you th you may have, but got rid of it. Tragic. Tragic. Ooh, this is a cool towel design. I didn't realize that was, I might use that towel design on my beach. It's a pretty one. Wait, whose is that? Can't tell who that is. That's uh, Gonzo, maybe? Can't tell. It is Gonzo. I was trying to tell from the side, like, eh? Cool. You got all kinds of stuff out. Oh, that's right. It does tell you stuff about them. I don't think I can check them when I'm sitting, can I? Oh, I can. There's a message written in small letters on the back of the photograph. Born October 13th, Libra. Favorite saying is, brothers are brothers, cheese is cheese. This is a photo of Audi. There's a message written in small letters on the back of the photograph. Born August 31st, Virgo. Favorite saying is, be the kind of person your future self won't regret having been. Gonzo is one day before me. Lyman is one day before him. Three in one week. My birthday uh, baby that shares a birthday with me is Ozzy. Ozzy the koala. Ozzy. October 26th, Scorpio. Favorite saying is... Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. This is a photo of Lyman. Huh? Born October 12th, Libra. Favorite saying is, Eucalyptus, eucalyptus is the spice of life. Cute. Love me a good photo. I need to check my photos. 
Anyway, thanks for having me. Thanks for giving me the goodies. I'm gonna head back so I can get this stuff done. You're a gem. You've truly helped me in many ways. Hopefully I can help you in many ways. For days, weeks, months to come. Surely. Oh, I thought I could cut through there. Nope. Thank you. They should give like a bow animation. Oh my god, I still need the love emote. I really want a bow. A bow would be so cute. Oh my god, you just gave me so much iron. Oh my god, that helps me so much. I, so, the only one I'm missing right now is Sisterly, and I'm going to replace Lucky with Flo, so that I can have all blue animals with blue exteriors, or close to blue exteriors, and all types. I don't think I'll keep Flo forever, but... Yeah, she was the only blue sisterly option there really was. And I already have a penguin. Um, but it's fine. I mean, I have two bunnies, so. I had a, some sisterly villagers in the past, but I let them go before I, like, upgraded them to full friendship or whatever. So many flowers. One day I'm going to have to pare down some of these flowers. I don't know when. <laughs> I think my town could use a little bit of breathing space, but haven't quite figured out where yet. Yeah, there really are not a bunch of sisterlies, honestly, though. There's like maybe, what, 15 total or something? Not a lot. Maybe a little more than that. I don't know. Last one I looked and was like investigating and making my little dream list, Flo was my only option, which I found to be a pretty big bummer. I mean, she's cute, but she's not even the cutest penguin. She's not even like the second, third, fourth, or fifth cutest penguin. All right, we'll get rid of these cards. And we're gonna go store this iron. Renee was your starter, didn't really like her. There's um, there's another Renee that's like a horse. She's really cute. She's new to this game. She's one of the cuter uh, new additions, I think. I'm not like a big fan of the horse's character model, but she's cute. And her house was really pretty. But the other Renee, I think the other Renee is what a sheep or something. She's not that, not that great. Okay. Okay, we're gonna skip one more day and order a few more things. Oh, she's a rhino, that's right, she's a rhino. Who was I thinking of? The purple sheep. Yeah, I'm switching days again. So if you want to get in those other two uh, soup kettles, feel free. Yeah, definitely. Put those orders in. And you shall receive right away. hot and sour. I could go for some soup right now, but I'm not gonna because it's too late. I am gonna wrap up relatively soon, I think. Ooh, curry. Honestly, I could eat yellow curry like every day. Mm, so good. There's this Chinese food place that does like a yellow curry chicken. I get it with mushroom and onion. I love it. There's also like a Thai place. It's in Asheville. I haven't really, but it's like got a green Massaman curry. I probably did not say that correctly, but mm, 
I like curry. I don't get it. I too, I usually don't get it very spicy though. I try to. I keep it tend. I tend to keep it not on the super spicy side. Because I mean, I like spicy foods, but I can only go so far before it's like unpleasant, and my taste buds are not really acclimated to spicy stuff very much. I like raw jalapenos burn me up. I can't take it. And jalapenos for a lot of people are like no big deal. Cooked jalapenos are fine. Raw sliced jalapenos? No. So if anyone had me do like a hot wing challenge or or whatever, I wouldn't be able to hang. No way. I'd lose my mind. Timmy. All right, we'll go ahead and send you those kettles right off the bat here. They give you hiccups. You just said curry, just normal curry and hot and sour. Okay. I don't know, like certain spicy things I don't find that bad. Where are you? I guess you're up at the top now because I just visited you. Yeah. But peppers and stuff, peppers are just too much. Curry, oh no. Hot and sour. Oh shit, I'm on best friend. Yeah, I forget that. Honestly, like the past maybe month and a half, people's uh, wants for ordering items has gone way, way down. I think a lot of people at this point either have checked out of the game or they have like everything they need to create their dream getaway island all right so the four posters kurt coco clay katrina i really wish i could get that fish plaque oh and the no i don't need the rug now i ordered the rug oh i still need all those shirts shit i got the shirts you got the damn, Alex. You're getting there. Oh, I need two. I need to make two gifts. A blue, two blue gifts. I have to wait until blue wrapping paper pops up. I don't know if I can have Katrina's poster. Maybe I do. When you're back in AC, you'll place orders. Yay! I love helping people. It's one of my favorite parts of this game. Okay, I don't have Katrina's poster. I'm gonna have to get her. I'm gonna have to do something else. She's so cute, though. I could do Sherb. Sherb's a little cutie. Or rolled. Let's do Boris. The basic painting. I feel like maybe I have a basic painting. I don't know, I'll have to check. I can't remember which one that is visually off the top of my head.
Okay. We can order... What were the shirts? I can put some of my custom designs up too, but I want them to all be blue. I might have to make some new ones. So the sea lion shirt and the sequin lips shirt. I don't remember what any of them are called. Oh, there it is, tea dress. Sea lion in blue. I don't remember what the sequin lips is called. I feel like I have a pretty decent amount of clothing, but there is so many clothes in this game. I don't know if I'll ever get a full catalog of clothing, to be honest. Just getting the furniture has taken me this long, and I'm still, like, probably a couple months away with only 40 items at the rate I'm going. Where are you? Did I pass it? Hot soup bar is now complete. Soup bar sounds so good. Ever since COVID, they shut down the hot food bar at the grocery stores. That's how I ate like, and I was eating healthy too, cause it was like, like a stir fry and dumplings and soups. And then when COVID came, they took it all away. <laughs> That was what I ate, like, seriously, 90% of the time. Every day, I would go get something from the hot food bar. Yours has a salad bar up, but the olive bar is prepackaged. Yeah, they took away. I'm sure all those people probably lost their jobs, too, like the people that were preparing the food for the bar. Why am I not seeing this? What is it called? I'm gonna have to like go into my house and see what it's called. What do I need? You mean like game items? I'm getting the blue sequin lips shirt, which I guess I thought it was like a long shirt, like a dress type item, but where the fuck did I swear? Wasn't I just wearing that? Did I sell it? Oh no, there it is. Sparkly embroidered tank. Wait, but I already ordered four items, so I can't even get it right now. Sparkly embroidered tank. I guess next time I play, I'm gonna actually decorate up the gift shop. So I have a few more things to order. I'll probably order the rest of the stuff off stream. And then assemble it on stream. It's only like one or two more sessions of doing this. And then I guess I'll start working on the Wi-Fi bar. Oh, I need presents too. I need to check and see if there's blue wrapping paper. Hmm. 
Wouldn't it be nice if it was both navy and blue? Hook me up, game. Make my day. It is possible, but it's highly doubtful. I should have been checking this whole time, but I wasn't. Oh, it's mint. Ooh, that's nice, Alex. That's really nice. That's nice that they already have your schedule up, too. I know sometimes in retail, they, uh, they really push it to the last second. That is promising, though. We're going to have to switch over to the other character so I don't leave this on the ground. Isabel's going to hate my guts. Not give me my five stars, so we got to do something about that. She's a stickler. The monotony of it all. Welcome to life. Animal Crossing or not. Okay. do that. Leave the final one for tomorrow, someone on Reddit. Yeah, there's always somebody out there that's got what you need and will hook you up. It's the beauty of this game and the community of this game. It's like, most people are really willing to just share and give. And at this point in the game's community, like, the toxic grifting animal crossers have basically all gone away, moved on to other games. How do you get roads? Um, so I did the normal in-game path and I actually designed this pattern myself. So this is what I did, Busta. I did, you know, just simple black and then did these little dashes and, and stuff like that. So it took up quite a bit of my custom design slots. Oh, I don't actually wanna change the name. I need to actually put these up on enables. I need to do that. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. I keep saying that I'll do that and then I never do. I could put those up and let people give people my creator code. But yeah, I just made these little patterns. I'm very proud of them. It's like my most custom part of my town. I hear a machine, a, a machine, a balloon. I did, I made him an original, an indigo original. Boom. Though I've seen people with like better roads overall. I just didn't want my roads to be like these super wide things with sidewalks and stuff, you know? I wanted, I like my paths to be too wide. 
one of my uh, rules that I made up in my brain. And now I'm stuck with it forever. One of those arbitrary rules. I was like, I want all my paths to be two wide only. Now here I am. Two wide only, and they have to be horizontal and vertical. No diagonals. Yeah, all the griefers, the, the, the thieves, the people who are scamming on like Nookazon and stuff, the people who charge real money for things, they're, they've moved on. Look how cute ICC is too. She's such she's so cute. Your island's more of a natural look. Take people's tiles. I wish that you could have more tiles. I was honestly disappointed when I figured out how many custom design tiles we got. For like the whole island. I thought each character was gonna get that many slots. And when it when it ended up being the whole island, I was like, oh. But you just found it nice. I'm glad my stream can help you be so productive in the game. <laughs> Good stuff. I wish I didn't have to have these little transparent dots on my roads, but you know what? You just gotta deal with it. There's no way around it if I want transparency. I know, you've been so productive. You, you're just over there doing all your productive stuff while I mostly just run around in circles and live in a Groundhog Days uh, movie. Groundhog Day movie. Even though today I was very productive. Today I was actually getting things done. All right, we're gonna just put it all in storage. Decorate the room up next time. I'm probably gonna play more Animal Crossing tomorrow since I took Saturday off. My plan was to do Animal Crossing on Saturday, but I didn't play at all. So I'll probably shift Animal Crossing to Monday and then do, and I, I don't know when I'm gonna start tomorrow. My husband might, He's he's likely to take a nap in the afternoon. So I'll probably start, I started like at 10 today. So I'll probably start closer to 11 tomorrow. It'll be a bit shorter. And then probably on Tuesday, maybe more Animal Crossing if I'm like really feeling the groove. And then if not, then I'll probably do Chrono Cross. And then Wednesday, probably uh, Minish Cap. That's just off the top of my head. It's subject to change, of course. But usually I kind of feel like I've gotten into a little bit of a groove of doing like Animal Crossing in the f like weekend and first part of the week. And then just like random games on like Wednesday, Thursdays. Seems to, how, seems to be how it's roughly panning out for me these days. But I do want to finish Chrono Cross. So I might dedicate like two nights in a row to that. Because I'm like inching to the end. I'm probably three sessions away from finishing that. Oh yeah, thank you BGS. Yep, thank you. Uh, sleep well. Sleep tight. Sweet dreams. I too am finishing up here in the next couple of minutes. Thank you for the reminder on that though. I'm going to do that right now. Blue hanging scroll. Done. Alright, and we won't even take it out of her inventory. And I'm not doing anything else with her. Because I'll get sucked into another 20 minutes. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you again for the raid, BGS. And for the helping me with all the goodies all these couple past couple weeks. I appreciate it. Mwah. Hopefully I see you again soon. Oh shit, I meant to I didn't end with JJ. Oh yeah, I figured. I figured you sent me everything you possibly could. 
I appreciate it. Oh. Oh, damn it. I switched off with... With ICC instead. We can't go to bed with ICC. She doesn't even have a bed. She doesn't have PJs. A red leaf pile. Wow, thanks, Isabel. Cool. Oh, she's got some Nook Miles to claim, though. What's that? Dream House. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I'm feeling sneezy. Might be a false alarm, though. Ooh, look at her grow. ICC's getting the glow up. Alright, that looks like it's it for now. Oh my god, it's two. Oh. Yep, it's over. It's bedtime. Let's just get JJ on the screen instead. See if anybody is around. Hmm, butter is on. Butter's playing World of Warcraft. I'm not into World of Warcraft, but I'm into butter. Come on, JJ. Where you at, pal? There you go. Oh my god. Twitch hit me with Trojan ads. I wish I could afford to subscribe to more people, but I can't. Maybe when I get my job, another job. We will see. Easy there, Twitch. I know, right? Oh wait, I can't. I gotta actually end with JJ as the primary character. Hitting me with Trojan ads. I get Trojan ads. What else do I get? Jack in the box. I get a lot of Jack in the box ads. Which, I mean, those two together, let me tell ya. And then something else I get a lot of. That five gum commercial with the girls, the girls like stream setting going all into space or whatever it is. I get that one a lot. That one's kind of new though. Nope, no Popeyes ads. Popeyes is missing out, not advertising on Twitch though. For sure. Expand that market. Uh, let's see, what do we want to wear to bed? Something simple. Let's wear like, Haley sent me some PJs. The PJ set, not the baby romper. What was it? It was like full body PJs of some kind. Damn, did I, did I don't know, I thought I kept them. Uh, we'll wear the maxi shirt dress. We get PlayStation ads, oh I'm sure. My husband wants a PlayStation 5 to play as No Man's Sky <laughs> in 4K. <laughs> That game is what, like four years old now? That's how, why he wants a PlayStation 5. I'm like, yeah, we can we can get a PlayStation 5. I'm sure I'll find some way to use it, right? <laughs> but we're not in a rush. He really wants it, but you know, whenever we can get one, we'll get one, I guess. Clearly, I'm not getting any kind of, I'm not spending hundreds of dollars on anything right now. Um, so yeah. I'm going to bed. Alex, thanks for hanging out. BGS, thank you for hanging out. Uh, let's see. Kirsty, if you're still lurking out there, thank you for hanging out. Chroma. Haley, you were here for a little bit. Thank you. Double Think and Scorny. Kinky. Who else was here? Cool. 
Cortable. Cortable is here for a little bit. Um, Rikidzen Prime, thank you for the follow. And I got another follow. Who was that? LSMUL, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it, y'all. Um, I will be back tomorrow night to do a likely, extremely likely more Animal Crossing. Have an awesome Monday. Yes, day three of no caffeine. After day three of no caffeine, it's going straight back to the gym. So tomorrow's like my last day of like taking it a little easy, and being a, a lump around the house. <laughs> but it's time and I feel it. Uh, thank you, Alex, for the smoke-free encouragement. Mwah. I'll see you tomorrow night. I'll see anyone else who out there who's around tomorrow night. I'm going to do a quick raid over to Butter. So if you want to watch Butter, who is amazing, he's super chill. He's very funny. He's playing World of Warcraft, which, you know, I mean, it's World of Warcraft. It is what it is. It's interesting, but not really my bag. But I'm going to go support Butter because I like watching him. Y'all have a wonderful night, and I'll see you later. Sleep tight, sweet dreams, and so long. Mwah. Bye bye. Thank you.